Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John. I'm Claire. This is Betty a true and welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I'm sorry that we have to uh, begin this with an unfortunate announcement, but you've all been trekked, alright? And, and don't try to leave, the doors have been locked. Um, I'm, I'm afraid tonight we're not here for entertainment, or even edutainment. No, this is... Which this is just going to be education. So for the next three hours, I'm going to talk about the Peloponnesian War. And at the end, there will be a test. All right. And I'm going to be very mean to the people who don't pass the test. There's not even a game. All right. Assassin's Creed Odyssey doesn't exist. I just made, Claire made this, this logo using some leftover art from Rise, Son of Rome. That's, that's what's, uh, that's what's going on there. And everything is everything is 100% fine. So welcome, welcome to history with John live. There we go. So I guess we guess we can do we can do some murder. There will be like, but not more than 10% murder. This will be 90% dry history lection, a uh, le lection, <laughs> lecture, wow. whatever. Tired, and stressed, and the world's on fire. Uh, it's like the BBC, okay? You need to have a certain amount of, like, mm -hmm. useful shit. Yes. Right? Yes. Some murder, the temp but then useful. 10% murder to 90% dry, boring history lecture. That's the ratio we're going for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're doing. And if you don't like it, well, as I say, unfortunately, the doors are locked and the cross in the top right of your screen has been disabled. Uh, so you won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to use that, unfortunately. I'm very sorry to say. It's not going to be a pop quiz, people, in the chat. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an essay. None of this, like, oh, multiple God, choice multi questions. We don't do nonsense. multiple choice stuff no, in Britain. No, 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 that no. doesn't happen in Britain. This is an American thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, so let's, let's see if this is all working as it should do. That's about right. I said to have a cursor on one. Also, there's a loadout. I can I can just buy loadouts for money. I didn't know I could do that. Not more money than I've got. That's fine. I'm happy with just my one loadout. This is a okay. I'm go back over to Cassandra. Go back over to controller. Oh, Claire, you didn't edit this, did you? So you yeah. So you you know this is a really pretty game. No, but I did the one that was an actual history lesson. You know the one. That oh was yeah, you did. You edit? did discovery tour. Yes. Because it was with. You did discovery tour. I was, this was literally making a lecture at the time. It's quite tricky. So yeah, yes, this is well. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is bloody pretty. It's really bloody pretty. That's but that's John, that's history you. is already ninety percent murder, says the chat. It's, it's, they're not entirely wrong. No. Also, that that boat is that boat is travelling at speed in the direction of the shore. That's guys. Are you sure you guys? There's no port there. Guys, are you okay? Oh, they're going to turn. They're going to turn. They're going to hang. Can I can I intercept that boat? Might be able to intercept that. Oh, no. That, but that's a really sharp turn. Right there. Well done. I was hoping they might kind of come by here and I could have actually leapt onto them. Badass sort of a way. Be flipping great. So, yes. This is this is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just in case you um <clears throat> missed the uh, video. I want a very quick catch up. Like in the video, basically. Because this is a really damn big game. I basically did like Baby's First Tutorial Island. Which is over here in Kefalonia. And uh, this, is, this is all of Greece. You recognise that bit down there? That's Sparta. There's Attica. Athens will be on the uh, the tail end down at the bottom there, along with the Piraeus, the famous harbour. Then we're up towards Macedonia over here. And then 10 million islands. So, like, I played for like three or four hours and I just kind of covered this island over here. And we didn't even, we didn't even finish, we didn't even finish that. So I'm going to kind of start off today by kind of getting myself back up to speed. By like traveling to this uh, the this fast travel point over here, and then taking out this bay, which I never took out last time, because that'll just be that'll just kind of help me get back into the swing of things. And then we'll head over to Ithaca, of course, the historical home of uh, uh, Odysseus, who was trying to get back to in the Odyssey. Uh, so we'll kind of we'll, we'll go over there after that point. But I'm just gonna kind of get myself back into the swing of things by clearing out this here. I assume bandit camp. Like, you know, there's bandit leaders present, so logically, bandit camp. So, if I just kind of do that, that's all absolutely, that, 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 that'll be a good way for me to get, uh, back to, back to where we should be. Claire, while well, we're just loading things up and I'm getting into position. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, shout out to, uh, NTK Shadows, who gave us $2 and says a three-hour history lesson from John. Let's do it! I'm glad to hear people are not desperately oh. clicking that cross. Ow, my feet. 
Not desperately clicking click that cross button. Uh, El Kitty gave us $10 and says, Greetings, John. I'm looking forward to reliving my college education. Yay, college. James gave us two pounds and says, Oh, can I borrow a pen for the test? I forgot mine. No, no. You, be, you, should, have, you should have been prepared for this. Uh, Diathane <sighs> gave us $20 and says... Hello, uh, Diathane. Sli sliding it across the table. I can't stay for the quiz. Uh, I have to keep working. Feeble excuse. Best yeah, feeble side. excuse. Something, something, key workers. Yes, that too. Anyway, thank you for uh, whatever <clears throat> work it is that you are doing, Diathene. I'm sure it is quite important, in fact. So, quick note for people who are not familiar with this game. I'm an assassin, or rather I'm not, but I act like an assassin. In previous games, the fact that you acted like an assassin, like you were really good at climbing things and stabbing people, was explained by the fact that you were literally part of an order of an assassins or joined them very quickly. In this game, I'm just some woman who's like a mercenary who happens to just do a lot of assassin type things and has a magic eagle she can summon that's really good at scaring things out. So this is a game about like, you know, you... She just like murder. She, she like, basically, yes, yeah, she's just a fan of murder. So she's got this magic eagle she can summon at any point and the eagle can basically scam people. Have a little bit of a Luxy roundy and figure out what's like going on in the world. <laughs> no pens, says Lisa. We will write in blood. <laughs> Which I feel like is very kind of historically... Appropriate. Eminently reasonable. Uh -huh. Eagle dive. See, so, yeah, I'm just going around. I'm scanning people because oh, once cool. I once I look at them, they're now scanned, and I can see them permanently. I can identify what level they are, and thus how dangerous they are. And also, I can identify loot. Like I now know there's a chest there that needs to be grabbed. So if I just send my eagle around here, send him to have a little bit of a scopey round, he can figure out where the treasure is, and he can kind of yeah zoom on things. There's a captive. And yeah, the little kind of, uh, this kind of tells me, hey, there's something to look at somewhere over there. So that's a, what is that? It's not a captive, so that's stairs. Is, is, that, is that a fast travel point? Does that mean transition? That possibly means a transition point. And yeah, look over there, we got you. See, so yeah, I'm just going to basically scan all these guys and make sure I've seen all of the, the bad things. There's something over there that's, I think that's just a... Uh, just a treasure all the way over there for some reason. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to scan all the people. Make sure I understand who's where and all of that good stuff. And then we can start picking them apart bit by bit. And decide our angle of approach. Clap. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to uh, Yash who gave us $5. And says, John, open your map and look at the artwork on that map right next to Ithaca. I imagine it's going to be Odysseus, but I will look at it in a second as soon as I have just verified who's where. Mm. Oh, there we are. We got a flipping lounging thug over here. Hang on, what are you? What are you just doing over there? Why are you just? I think he was just having a nap. Fair enough. That guy was just having a nap, which is uh, eminently fair enough. I think we've got. I'm not sure if we've got everybody. We've got. Hang, on, we're supposed to have like three treasures. I'm seeing. I think we saw. Yeah, one captive over there. One treasure. I think we've got the treasures anyway. I think I think we've scanned everyone. We know where the leaders are. We know where the bad people are. Hopefully, anyway. So we've kind of we've scanned just about. Oh no! Hang on. There's another leader. Okay, we hadn't scanned everyone as it turns out. Claire, while well, I'm just making doing my rounds, I'm making sure we got them all. Uh, yeah, Mr. Ghost of Five gave us five dollars and says I spent the last I spent the first fifteen hours of the game traveling around looking at everything. I was level thirty when I re reached Crete. I'm not sure. I assume you're supposed to go to Crete fairly early, but I don't actually know. Yeah, but well, it's so pretty. It is very. And you can do murder and I'd, jump on shit and be an eagle. Actually, I can't do aerial takedowns yet. I assume that's a level locked ability mm. I haven't got as yet. Uh, but I've, I haven't got that yet, but I assume I will get that sooner or later. Ah, uh, Yash, uh, gave us another $5 and says, uh, he's already discovered that bit of the map, so the artwork won't be there. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, uh, I think that's enough eagling. Let's just see if it, what, what's, what they're saying is on the map is on the map right now. So we got, yeah, yeah Ithaca's already been technically, like, unveiled by a plot thing, so that's gone, but you can see they, like, uh, oh, put, that's cool. they put, like, things on the map, like, they'll probably be Heracles, So it's if like, you've heard in. about it from, like, myth and stuff, mm -hmm. and you know, conceptually, that, that thing happened over there, but you don't really know it. Yes, well, in the case of so that, this is just squid. Hello, oh, ice squid, squid, which is, gene which is, that's, that's, that's generic squid. 
Mm-hmm. I would that would I would imagine, and that's presumably Zeus because he's wielding the. Uh, I'm guessing I suppose he's wielding the thunderbolt, thereby putting down ancient monsters. Because Zeus put down a fair few monsters before settling into a retirement of lots of sex, of sometimes dubious consensualness. Mm-hmm. And hey, there's Polyphemus having his eye put out by Odysseus. So I'm guessing most of these will actually be. In many of the cases, it'll be the mental be Odysseus doing some. Uh, some good shit. Actually, no, down over here, that's definitely, uh, that's definitely the Minotaur being killed. That wasn't Odysseus's did that. So, yeah, it is, it's, it's a bunch of different, uh, a bunch of different, uh, uh, myths and whatnot going on in this part of the world. But it's, 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 it's a nice thing. It's, it's a very nice little map right over there. So, yeah, I noticed some treasures up high over here. Although, actually, the person I was supposed to rescue is, like, over here. So, I might actually, okay, I'm gonna be good and I'm gonna rescue the person that needs rescuing first. We're going to start with them, and if we can, maybe assassinate one guy. Yeah, right now I'm on the high ground, which I was like, I was like starting on the high ground. Oh, let me know if the audio needs uh, um, changing at all, by the way. I've kind of set it so it's like, uh, oh, it's a very dramatic slide there, Cassandra. I've set it so you should be able to hear the voices a bit more easily, so we'll see how uh, that all fits together. And just down, 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 down. There we go. Ooh. And yeah, we'll see if we can sneak up behind you. There we go. I see one of you over there. Let's see if we can just assassinate. This used to be a nice village. And yep, yeah, that's an assassinate because I can see it on his health bar that he could be killed in one go. So that's one bandit leader dead. And do we need to move his body? I'll tell you what, I'll move him up top out of the way over here because I think it's a bit more, you know, out of the way than what we got right now. So we'll just kind of put him. We'll put him over here, where I feel like no one's going to, no one's going to find him. And then, how do I put him, there we go, I tap X to put him down, there we go. Help myself to a little bit of drachma, get straight back up again, and move straight on. And I, what, what I like doing with this is, you can kill everybody, but I prefer, like, only killing the key people, the game says kill these people. Well, the game says, hey, just kill, like, you know, the leaders, free the bandit, and then get out without anyone ever realising you were there. Because that strikes me as way more badass. So that's what I'd rather do. I think we're all quiet in this part of the world, to be honest. So just drop down over here. Drop down when it's safe. I see one person over there. One person who is, might need to be dealt with. And, yeah, obviously you can hide in, uh, hide in bushes. Okay. Are you going to naff off, or do you need to be stabbed because I'd rather you weren't stabbed but if you're gonna be a dick and refuse to move out of the way you might have to get yourself stabbed all right I have no problem with that guy being stabbed in that case I'm guessing you know it makes sense there is literally a guard to the captured prisoner so we just help. sneaky help. stop yelling help at me please stop yelling help at me I'm literally trying to I stabbed him in the deck there we go <laughs> Right, okay, and now we're just going to put him in the ocean, which admittedly might make the ocean go a bit red, which you'd think might draw a bit of attention, but I'm sure it's fine. In There's the... a lot of ocean and not that much blood in that, guys. So. Yeah, but it's also very, very, like, you know. Yet I will get to you in a second. I am looting. All right, here you go. Unlock. You, can you make your own way out, or do you need me to do anything with you? Nope, you just... <laughs> oh, look at her go! <laughs> That's That was some fast... That was no, not in that direction. That's into the camp. That's the the the, 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 the no. That's the. Why would you not have run that way? Fine, whatever. Uh, she's she's just on her way anyway. I'm sure it's all that. Did she just draw the attention of the guards? I think she did. I think that I think she might be dead. I mean, someone fired an arrow, and now they're all running around. <laughs> Look, the game said free her. It did not specify that she needed to be safely escorted. If anything, she's just done me a favour because she's drawn... Oh, yeah, she's dead. She's dead as flip. Okay, well, she's drawn their attention. Of the... <laughs> the mission brief was she has to be got out, let out of the cage. I let her out of the cage. If she runs off in a stupid direction, that is not my fault. All right? 100% not my fault. Can I go up through here, by the way? Apparently not. Okay, this is, this, it's a good start. It's a good start to my day. Claire. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Snake Doctor who gave us 10 pounds and says, Evening, John and Claire. I hope you're both staying safe 
And I bet John's glad that Resident Evil 3 didn't win out on the poll. I'm that's, gonna be honest, I was expecting it to. That's twice you've dodged a Resident Evil 3 scary bullet, John. I don't think Resident Evil 3... I, I, I mean, unless they've really changed it, I'm not expecting Resident Evil 3 to be that scary. Because Resident Evil 3 is famously like the linking one between Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 4. Which, you know, you'd think would make sense from the numbers, even though it wasn't originally called Resident Evil <laughs> Theory, so it was called Resident Evil Nemesis. But, like, you know, it's the it was the first Resident Evil that was really a lot more action-y. Um, and that paved the way for 4. Like, 3 wasn't that scary, because Jill Valentine was armed to the teeth. Previously, it had all been very survival horror-y. Where, like, you know, you had really limited ammo and stuff. But that kind of stopped being a thing in, uh, in, in Resident Evil 3. Like, you had plenty of ammo, you could make your own ammo and diddly diddly d. So it, it was kind of, it was a real change of, uh, a real change of ethos. And, oh, okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing two, well, it's saying kill two gang leaders, but I see there's three here, so, you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna take care of all of them. We're just gonna take all of them out. In fact, you know what, we can do a two for one here. Right, you're gonna die. And then straight after that, we're gonna just move straight onto this next one. Uh, because apparently there's... Were you the gang leader of an unrelated ne next door area who just kind of wandered in? Because I'm not sure whether you were, because the game didn't just say you've just done one of your objectives. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, shout out to Stephen, who gave us 50 euros. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed, Stephen. Uh, and says, hello, John. I just want to say thank you for your entertaining content. It helps a lot after long working days as a nurse in intensive care. Oh, much flat. Much appreciated. Oh, my God. To, to, to use the, the, the well-worn expression, you, sir, are the real hero. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for uh, all the work that you do. Thank you. Yes, you are. We've got a lot of uh, real flipping heroes in the comments, by the way, today. Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> Right, so now I just need to loot some treasure. I just need to now loot the treasure and then get out without anybody else realising I was ever here. Uh, no True Scotsman gave us uh, five pounds and says, Hi, John and Claire. Thanks for helping keeping me sane over the last few weeks. I work in a healthcare charity, so things have been quite tough. Uh oh. Uh, things things have got a bit, 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 bit out of. Yeah, but you're not working in a healthcare. Charity That's true. I'm not. So you know. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, uh, True Scotsman, for for everything that you do. Yeah. Hugely, hugely amazing. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Probably I should have picked a moment where you weren't murdering a dude, but this is. Pretty much a game about just murdering some dudes. So. It's also a game about history, kind okay, of. Okay, okay. There's, there's small amounts of history going on. Okay, so one guy had to be hit in the face with a big ass club. That's true. We did just do that. Release that. Me. I'm not an animal. Okay, apparently there's someone else who needs rescuing. I'm gonna be honest, you're not really part of my mission brief anymore. Stab you! Hello! Right, okay, there's there's more right now. Okay, come at me, come at me, come at me. Screw you! Stab! Now, who just said release me, I'm not an animal? Hi! Um, I don't actually have to release you, but I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart. I'm nice like that. Okay. New quest. Are you a quest giver? Oh, uh oh, you want to be escorted. Um, I wouldn't be, uh, please, no. Oh god, this guy wants to be escorted directly through an enemy camp. Please don't. Why, why would you do this? Why? Why are you doing this? Why would you? Don't. Get up. Okay, um, so he's, this guy's just decided he wants to. Okay, I'm, I'm, just, don't, please, please stop. I think he's dead. Okay, uh, that, that quest failed a bit. I, look, you shouldn't have really, it was a bad idea to, to try and walk directly through the enemy camp. Okay, so some people are dead. Some people are very dead right now. But this is, everything's under control. Well, I guess that means I can just have all of your stuff. Loot. Loot. And where was the one remaining bit of loot? Down over here. Okay, so in the end, everybody died. But they were bad people who were keeping other people hostage. So that's... Okay. It's okay. Everything's... Yay! Mercenary belt or something. And I... I, I 
only slightly, slightly. He, I didn't kill that guy. I just didn't save him, which is John. Dis- you learned nothing. This is why you kill everybody yeah. before releasing prisoners, John. You do not know. You do it in the badass way. I just didn't realize someone was going to be stupid enough to say, "Hey, I want to please let me walk directly through to the enemy base." Oh, look, one other guy over there. I haven't killed. That means I win. I, I win. Therefore, everything's under control. At this point. I'm guessing I failed that quest, by the way. Uh, talk to Davos. But I'm going to be honest. I thought the guy who... who is, is Aren't you dead? Are you not... I think he might... He seems pretty dead to me. But the game's still saying this is an unfinished quest. Is Davos... Oh, that's... I think his brother was just... Okay, I'm going to go have a chat to the brother of the guy I just failed to save. And we're going to see how he feels about this whole situation. Uh, I mean, I think he's standing close by to our... Hi! Yes, so your brother's... Your brother's dead. I hate to break it to you, but your brother was killed. She just said that so casually. Oh, wow, so Get out of my sight before I hire those bandits to slit your throat! I'd like to see you try. Um, I think we might... Wow. Why won't you... Why won't you die? Yes! He will die! Good. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> now, now, the, now no one will know what I did. Because there's no witnesses. No witnesses means no crime. Yay! Goat! That's definitely how crime works. Uh, anyway, shout out to a trooper thingy who gave us two dollars and says I would tune in to, for history with John any day. Uh, and Junior, who gave us five dollars, uh, Junior Cheris Car, mm-hmm. who gave us five dollars and says I love all of your Fallout videos. You are the best. Ow! Obvious trap. Yes. Whoa. I need a faster weapon. This club is way too slow. This club is just so ad- it's just so damn slow. Mm. Dear, oh dear. On the plus side, I just I mean, picked it up- is cool. It looks hefty. I just but... got some new stuff. So I need to go level up to- Oh, almost level six already. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get myself- So right now, yeah, I'm prioritizing assassin damage. I enjoy assassin damage over anything else. So I'm going to wait till level six, because that's a good skirt that's got some assassin damage bonuses on it. Uh, I've just picked up this- uh, Yeah, I'm wearing the dark steel right now. That is- that's better. Okay, so I've got better stuff coming up at level 6. That was level <laughs> 5 right there. That's assassin damage versus assassin and crit damage. So that's garbage. So I'm just going to dismantle that uh, for some parts. Uh, does I have anything else new? Apparently I've got stuff in my bag now. I picked up the Brothers Riches. And okay, got myself. Basically, I just got a giant pile of money. Okay, well, when I hit level 6, I've got some new stuff. Coming yeah, in. Uh, Ro gave us five pounds and, and did say uh, that this stick is a little slow weapon-wise. It uh, is. But also, loving your videos, I hope you are all well. Do you have a history fact or uh, a little fact for every area of the game? Uh, not necessarily, like, cause I don't know where I'm going next. Uh, mm-hmm. and there might be some, it might be a very obscure area. Uh, but I, we do have all sorts of, uh, all sorts of fun facts. I mean, you know, it's, it's for... This is apparently an area. I've just leveled up from climbing a cliff and discovering a location. Uh, well, that's good. Can I summon the the bird? Because apparently this is a the, these are bad people. So I need to kill you, and I need to get the treasure, which is up top. And there's something there. That's an animal, so that's not a problem. Right, scan all of you. Just loop around the side and make sure there's no one else over here. I think it should be as it should be. So yeah, we just need to take out the leader, grab the treasure, and then there's no one to rescue, so I can't fluff that up. Alright, this is... The important thing is there's nobody who needs rescuing, so everything is is fine and as... In fact, does this house even have a door? Or is this just an exterior-only house? Because I can't actually see a, an interior. Just speed it up over there. I'm not sure this house has an interior. I think this house is, yeah, this house is one of those outdoor, o- uh, outside only houses. One of those houses. There we go. Right, back over here. let clamber my way up. And then I've got to uh, not get spotted by the guy who's obviously about to spot me. Alright. 
hang out over here. You should try to stay out of sight. Okay. Just need to get round to you know I'm gonna go around the other way because I feel like I'll be I'll be safer if I just get round here. Yeah, if I go around, <sighs> this is the public area right now. So that's all absolutely fine. Loop round over here. And then just jump up this way. You can climb anything in this game. You're an assassin, which means you've got infinite climbing power. You used to have, like, climbing meters at various points in this franchise's history, but nah, not these days. Uh, okay, get over here. Loop around over here. You apparently can't quite see me. Alright. Now we're good. And uh, hopefully we should be able to... I might just be able to whistle assassinate him, where you whistle him over and then just assassinate him when he comes to investigate it. But That'd his, be cool. But his friend might see it. Mm. I'd rather stab him in the... Oh, hang on, is that... That might be an oil thing right there. Okay. I'm just going to drop down. Make sure that guy doesn't see me. Claire, all yours while I wait for these two to be in a good position. Uh, yeah, uh, source of being in the chat wanted to know who is your uh, favourite, mo most obscure Greek god or goddess. Nux. It's always Nux, who is the goddess of night, and we don't really know where she comes from or what she does or anything. We just know that Zeus is afraid of her. She's mentioned in the Iliad. She's great. The Zeus, who's like, you know, who makes a point of saying, hi, I'm stronger than all the other gods put together by engaging in a stupid, pointless tug of war with them at one point, is scared of Nux. Why is Zeus scared of night? We don't really know. It's just a cool detail. Yeah, uh, and uh, shout out to you, Piotr and Source of Being. Both of them are pointing out. Uh, Piotr says, this is a really clever live stream to pick for John because Cassandra does a lot of sighing, so we won't hear the sighs of frustration from Claire. Mm -hmm. uh, and Source of Being says, I really keep thinking that the sighs are grown off from Claire rather than from the game. Oh. No, they are not, but if there is a laughter following a dick joke, that'll be me. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's bring let's bring it right back up from anything that I would say. Uh, a secret internet a secret internet bird gave us ten dollars and says, John, glad to have you while I'm working from home today. Thanks for the history lesson. Today too we must celebrate Claire's nomination. Cheers and stay healthy. It's true if you missed this, Claire is now Hugo nominated, a flipping finalist. Yes. Which thank makes her significantly you. more prestigious than me. And yes. her channel more prestigious than mine. Well, it's we not a contest, we're in entirely different subgenres of YouTubing. Mm -hmm. Uh but yes. My YouTube channel, That's All About Books, has been nominated for a Hugo Award, which is very exciting. And four for four, stealth kill. Dead. And yeah, a number of people were saying that in the chat before it got brought up. Uh, yes. Like in the super chat, so thank you so much, guys. So yeah, Claire, we've, we've been discussing how... how uh, Claire, Claire apparently says there's no way to cheat or whatever. Okay, please don't. No, John. Okay. Sir, that is not... Oh my god. <laughs> I Those just... are inside the house jokes! Uh huh. I just want Claire Jesus to Christ. win. Yes, I know, but you do realise there was like an organised campaign of cheating for literal years organised by gamers. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Lucky for... you, you forgot about it! I had forgotten about that. Oh, so sadly, God. sadly, Claire has oh to try God. and win legitimately. Oh my God. Yeah, that's oil. That's definitely oil. Well, I'm not sure I've got any way to set it on fire, because I haven't got my... Ooh! Oh, ow, 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 on fire. There we go. Set on fire. I don't know you couldn't... Apparently you can just pull out a flaming torch anytime you want to. That's good. Okay. And set you on fire. Yay! I set that guy on fire! I enjoy setting people on fire. Can I just pull flaming torches out of my ass? I can! I didn't realise that. Can I set this on fire? It being, you know, a... No, no, no! No, that's me. Damn that's it. that's me. That's me that's on fire. Okay, everything's... Everything... There we go. Everything's, everything's under control. Good! Good, good, good. Why are, Why didn't you burn? Oh, we, there's a bit of fire going on under there. I'm kind of disappointed you didn't burn better. Okay, hang on. Are you going to burn? Are you going to burn? Please. Please burn. Please burn. Please. I do just have infinite torches. I thought you had to light them, but no, you just have infinite torches. I'm... Did you just 
put that guy's head in the fire and he didn't burn. He's refusing to be on fire and I'm deeply... I'm, I'm... Flames, get out! Out, damn you! You can throw your torch to the ash, uh, who gave it to you dollars. You need to aim while holding it. Need to aim, as in like going into... Ah! Is it like going into, yeah, normal bow Amy mode? Mm. I suppose. He looks like he's somewhat on fire. This man is, is, is flame proof. I don't understand what's happening, but he's Maybe just... Maybe he a witch. Fine. Well, if you cannot be burnt, then you will be drowned. You're going to go into off the cliff. He'll get in the water sooner or later. That's far enough. I can't, the, the sea was further away than I thought it was. Lol. Okay, but more importantly, more importantly, no equipment, because level six. So I uh, can put Naughty off. says, uh, some fires are light, some don't. The game is capital F fussy. Boo. Okay, get... Oh, that looks so boring. That's so dull. But it's only got... It's only two more for... No, I'm sticking with this. It looks better. You, you, even though this is better armor, it's boring, so I don't like it. So it's being broken down. It's dull. Okay, what about this new skirt? I should have a new, uh, I should have various skirts. That's hunt damage. That's warrior damage. That's also warrior damage. That's assassin damage. I'm not 100% convinced to buy it, to be honest. But I guess we'll stick with it. Uh, that can definitely go... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do a quick bit of inventory shuffling around. That is better armor and does warrior damage. It's a nice to skirt, arguably. I don't like the fact this one's kind of got beads on it. That one's, that one's not right. Right, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of this. And we'll keep them too. I still don't have a helmet. I've got no helmet at all. And these two bows are identical, but this one's warrior damage and that one's the other. So I'm just going to get rid of that one because it doesn't seem that interesting to me. And, oh, now I'm level 6, I can go over to a much better weapon. I can get rid of this staff and go over to a common berserker axe. Which, admittedly, in the picture looks like it's made of solid gold. And is actually just an axe made of iron when I'm holding it. Admittedly, it is still big and it's not really what I want. I'm going to get rid of that because I, really, I didn't really enjoy that. Uh, so I would probably rather have something much slower. Oh, yeah, that's... That's definitely... That's definitely a bit much. Okay, abilities... I can actually, I think I can do a little bit more over here yet, can't I? So, when uh, starting, I can harass targets. Nah, I'm fine without doing that. Uh, Leap of Faith, that requires level 20. I've already got that. Uh, okay, ah, I think at level 6 I might have unlocked these seconds. No, I'm sure I've had that before. Devastating shot, 290. I'm pretty happy with my existing predator shot. That's more powerful anyway. Uh... Rust assassination. So yeah, launch to 100% assassin damage up close. So close, but not like immediately on a person. That's kind of cool. More poison. Vanish. Okay, stun nearby targets for seconds. Attacking them breaks a stun. Or we got ourselves shield breaking. Weapon master. Second wind. Refills 25% of maximum health. Bull rush. Sparta kick seems good. Because you see, enemies seem to take a lot of damage from falling off things. Okay, John, what level yes. are you at right now? Six. Okay, so when you get to level eight, you'll be able to change your gear's appearance to anything else you've found so far. Oh, sweet. That's yeah. pretty good. So you need to rush to level eight. Yeah. <laughs> to grind a bit so you can make yourself look prettier. Yeah, uh, fully, fully agree. Fully agree on that. Yeah, I might go for Sparta Kick just because uh, damage seems to be a huge amount right over there. Uh, unless, of course, six cents goes up to... Be a matter of paralyzing arrows. Knock it out instead of killing them. Yeah, but it's called Assassin's Creed. I mean, multi-shot is tempting. And I don't need oh. to take this to take that. Multi-shot is very tempting. It might be a little later, though, because Yash gave us $5 and says you can also make any armor look like any other piece of armor for free through the menu. If I recall correctly, that comes into play at level 10. So ah, it might fair be enough. or 10. But it is through the menu, and it is by pressing X on the main inventory screen. I'm going for multi-shot. Four enemies simultaneously is fun. Uh, so that can just be my Y ability. That's, uh, yeah, that's my every, that's my now everybody hits everybody ability. 
How are we doing in terms of this world? But I think there's like one more thing over. Oh, I think that might be the shark mission. There's a shark mission I took. I never did. Yes, Shark the Vagrant. So I'm supposed to find a necklace in a sunken temple. I know it's off the coast of Kefalonia, south of the ancient ruins of Cranioi, which is close by to where I started. Which I assume means it's this one location that has been flagged over here. It would logically be this over here. So... We're gonna go and find a shark. We're gonna go fight a shark now. Let's go assassinate a shark. That sounds fun to me. I think that sounds like just the thing. I'm gonna call my horse. My horse has magic powers, by the way. Um, your horse just, whenever you whistle, your horse basically appears wherever you weren't looking. It's a magic horse. It's good stuff. Claire, well, I just ride over there. Yeah, shout out to Resonant who gave us £10 and says, This makes me so very happy. It's just such a lovely, colourful game. And Brad gave us $5 and says, I'm so glad uh, I'm actually uh, able to catch a stream as it starts and it's Assassin's Creed right on John. Damn straight. It's good. Depa Ow. My poor yeah. horse. Department of Redundancy Department gave us 10 Swiss francs yeah. and says, I'm at home with the coronavirus, but very light symptoms. So thank you for helping cure the loneliness. Mostly thanks to you, I recently bought... I recently bought Rome Total Portal 2, there. Tropico 6, Tropico 6, and Kerbal Space Program. Ah! That's a good list. That's, that's, that, if, this one, that, I think those are like good games for quarantine games, because those are games that have got huge replayability going on. Yes, and hopefully, uh, hopefully you do feel, uh, better soon. Okay, we found, oh, we found several sharks. 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 Pretty. Those are level six sharks, which means technically they're strong. So they are higher, and in this game, level really matters. Like you don't want to tangle with stuff that's higher level than you for the most part. Actually, no, they're level six. That's I, I just went up to level six. So I don't know whether I want to try and take them out. I'm not sure whether I don't know how much I can even fight underwater, or whether I want to just straight up try and avoid them. Uh, I don't know whether you fight or you just basically use your positioning knowledge as oh, are you dolphins. I think those are just dolphins. Yes, those are dolphins. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I mean, I could bring a boat in. I could go and get a boat and just use a boat. Actually, to, so I have, like, a thing that's not... Then again, there's ruins right there. But then again, having the ability to... Yeah, actually, you know, I think bringing a boat might be a really good idea. Because, like, there are literally sharks. And I don't want to swim over to this thing. If there's, you know, not, not a... Uh, I feel like that that feels like a sensible thing to me. Does that feel like a sensible thing to you? Yes, yes, indeed it does. Okay, I just want to check if there's an, uh, like any other boats the other side. Icarus not. Icarus should be available. I just want to check if there's not a boat over there. No, that's a goat. It rhymes with boat, but it isn't the same you thing. You can use your bow from the surface and pick up to pick off the sharks from above. Ah, okay. Yeah, so you can either avoid them or shoot them. Okay, how perceptive are they in terms of, how, like, do I need to bother, Chad, do I need to bother going to get that boat over there? Or would that be a bit of a waste of time when I could just murder sharks? Well, I'm gonna just read a couple of more messages while the chat catches up. Uh, Grish, Grishamal uh, gave us 25 Polish Zloty uh, and says, I lost my job yesterday. My workplace is temporarily shut down due to coronavirus risk. So, thank you for some entertainment in these difficult times. Oh, thank you very, very much indeed. And I hope you get back up and running as quickly as you can. Yes, absolutely. And that you are able to, you know, stay safe for the duration. Uh, David gave us £10 and says, Obligatory timing check. I sent this at uh, seven, uh, 12 minutes past 7. So, it is now 30, 40 minutes past 7. Both, both is a wait of time. Don't bother, boat is a waste of time. Murder the shark, you can't even ride that boat. You say that, I'm being... The, the shark is, is... The sharks are coming for me right now. The sharks are coming for me right up. Just stay away from the shark. Stay, get, get, onto, get onto a thing, get onto a thing, get onto a thing. Okay, get out of the water. Get onto the water. Now, if I just shoot the shark right now... Oh yeah, the shark can just be... Yeah, screw you, yeah, shark. Yeah, apparently that boat is too small and you can't ride that boat, so... Okay. Uh, and David says, also, I recently switched around the labels on the condiments in my house. My wife doesn't know it yet, but the time is coming. Uh, time is cumin, surely. I know, but then the joke doesn't work. Dear, dear oh dear. Also, did... 
Did that shark just respawn, or is that a different shark? I don't know. Also, I think my bow's got very limited range. It. Oh, I got very lucky with the the attack there. Okay, come on. You just need to get a little bit close to me, Mr. Shark. Hello, Mr. Shark. Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark, Mr. Shark. Because, yeah, it'll, it'll show me red when I've got... Maybe this is drop-off. Maybe I need to aim a little bit higher. Because, like, the, the, the arrow through the water is a bit wibbly. My rumble pack is going. It's still going. It's still going. That's right, Mr. Shark. That's right, Mr. Shark. Hello, Mr. Shark. And... Oh... Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's, he's hiding behind a thing, he's hiding, hiding behind a thing. He's hiding behind his, hiding behind his, it, it, it. Okay, he's over there, that's fine. We're just gonna go, we're just gonna go get the thing. He's way over there. Oh, unless he, he's now a lot closer. Screw you. Oi, don't you. And. Got him. That was not worth much XP for a shark. Uh, dive underwater. And then I'll just get over here. And loop. Loop, 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 Oh, no, you do have a bar. It's it's a very generous bar, to my mind. It's a Your auction meter's very generous. You can hold your breath much longer than I could. I mean, you're a magic assassin. You're you're like the granddaughter of Leonidas or something. But like a lot of things that she can do, we can't do. That true. Yeah. Well, that that's that that's true of most people who just have an adequate level of fitness. To be honest. <laughs> Don't tell them that. That's just that's just true of most people who like you know exercise on a not a regular basis <laughs> can do things neither of us can do. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh dear. Right. Okay. I think that's everything we need there, and I believe you have a. This guy, technically I, I was supposed to get that necklace for somebody. Uh, where was that individual? It was, oh, it's some guy over here. Fine, then we'll go to the Lightning Zoo statue. And no, let me travel. Fast travel. Synchronize. Yeah. Where can I fast travel? It's because, oh, it's because I'm in a, in a hostile area. You need to be in a not hostile area in order to, you probably need to be in a not hostile area. Fine, let's just get out of a hostile area, and then I think I'll be allowed to fast travel. I assume that's the restriction. Claire! Yeah, shout out to Sebastian, who gave us 59 Swedish krona, uh, and says, Have the spare change left over after I bought an adjustable standing desk. How's your ergonomics? Uh, I have an old chair I've had for many years that's in really bad shape, but I love it, and it works for me, so I just keep it. I have a thing, I have I have a very old beat up desk, but on top of that desk, I have a giant adjustable standing thing, like sit to stand um, thing that you can just, it's like automatic, you can just lift it with a button. Um, and that's just because a full adjustable standing desk was quite expensive. And yes. you didn't really know if it was gonna work out and everything, so. What was that? Uh, oh. You're just knocking things over. Copy of a game. Sorry, that was me. Uh, that was me gesturing and and flinging my mouse around. Uh, sorry. <sighs> dear oh dear. So anyway, we bought a like what a hundred pound standing desk thing. Yeah, I it think might have been a bit more than that. Maybe a hundred fifty. Something like that. Something like that. But um. Okay. What? You just face planted into a book. That's traditional. That's how you don't take damage when you're falling in Assassin's oh, Creed. Literally I from the very, see. like, from the first act of the first game, you toss yourself off high places. As long as you land in a, a tradition, it's a, it's a cart full of hay, you take no damage. Because the carts, carts full of hay, like, cancel out, like, gravity. Mm -hmm. Uh, and shout out to uh, David, who gave us five pounds, and says, Thanks for the entertainment, John. This stream is nice to relax to and watch after working night shifts in a &E. Get the Sparta kick, as it's hilarious. I think I will be getting it later, but like the, the multi-shot seems pretty damn good. But I might, I, I will definitely be getting, uh, I'll definitely be getting both of those. Yeah. You go to... I just think I just attacked something, but I'm not 100% sure what it was. Hello, out of my way, I'm a horse! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Hello, I've uh, done your quest. Here's you the necklace. Found it. That's the necklace. That shark put up a good fight. He must have liked it. We can finally leave. No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life, one far from our past. 
I know what that's like. Good luck. All right, so I get 200 drachma for that, and presumably a big old pile of XP. My horse just disappears. He was right here. He was he was right here, but now he's now he's not for some reason. Oh well, I think that's about this island done. Given I accidentally killed that guy. Yeah, the only thing left is I've got marked is Penelope Shroud. I've been up to over there. There's technically a lair, an area I haven't found over there, but I don't want to find. I'm not like you know insisting I'm going to find every single location. So what I'll probably do instead is it's time to go over to. Actually, I might. I'll swing by the blacksmith in the uh, the Samey, I think it's called, and then we'll go over to Ithaca and see what's going on in that part of the world. Clap. Yeah, shout out to Declan who gave us six pounds and says, I just finished an essay on the importance of the Nile to ancient Egypt. Egypt. So thank God this isn't uh, Origins. <laughs> well, I thought that was going into a pun there. I no. just finished an essay on the Nile. and uh, d d Denial. Something, I don't know. Uh, I, I, thought, I thought that was going towards a punchline. Whee! It's a bush, so I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> Bushes. Nature's things. That be nothing wow. has no, no, nothing has consequences if you ha land in a bush. Yeah, that's the town I'm looking for, right? And if you just if you, if you just like hold down B, then you will no, not take damage because you'll just auto climb down and only release when it's safe to do so. Just really bloody convenient. So it means you don't need to worry about dying to full damage. Full damage is pretty generous in this game, but still, I'd rather not die to to full damage if I can avoid it. And there we go. And that means it was safe for me to, to drop down. And now I'm here. It should be safe. Feeds some on my horse, so do a horse whistle. Horse will just magically appear in whichever direction Let's I go. wasn't looking at the time, and we just pretend he was there the whole time. And we just pretend he can actually scale down a cliffside. That he just he, he, he's he's just a teleporting horse. He's a magic teleporting horse, and I'm fine with that. Get out of the way! I'm off. <laughs> ah, marvelous. And now we're in town. Get out of my way! I'm a horse. Oh, good dog. I don't want to accidentally run over the dog. Oh no. I have to get off the horse in case I accidentally run off the dog. I don't want to accidentally run over a dog. Good dog. I should be you can pet dog. No, don't think you can pet dog. Very well, sad. Well, that's just a travesty. I know. It's pretty uh, sad. <laughs> Shout out to Nick who gave us $5 and says, Good afternoon from California. Watching while working from home. Have a good stream. I will do what I can. And this is technically stealing. But if no one sees me do it... I'll just be having a level 7 hunter's bow. I mean, no one saw me do that, right? I think no one saw me do that. Right, let's sell some stuff and buy some. I'd like to, like... I keep finding massive what weapons. I'd like to... I'd like to, like, use some smaller weapons. Like, I've just picked up a level... I've just picked up a level... I don't know where that came from. I assume that was a reward for that quest. So that's a DPS 75 sword that boosts hunt damage. I'm going to get rid of this Berserk Axe. Uh, no, you can't. I think you can, you're not allowed to. If you've got it equipped, you can't You can't do it. Well, I'll keep the sword for now. So I'll just go over to that. Because, yeah, the DPS is identical. But it boosts my hunt damage. Uh, swords are at least a little bit on the the faster side. Yeah, that's a lot faster. But I feel like I'd, I'd rather have, like... Da I might just see what he's got. I might be willing to drop a bit of money buying some stuff here. How much are you willing to give me for this? 46. Yeah, fine. Uh, and this hunter bow is 8 DPS. Can't use it till level 8. Eh, honestly, I'll just take the money. I'll take the money now. I'm a long way off that. Uh, that's level 8, but that is assassin damage, which is pretty good. Uh, back over here, go over to buy. Let's see what you've got that might be interesting. So that's just a sword. Dagger, a level 6 dagger is also 75 DPS, but that boosts hunter damage. I would have thought daggers by default just boosted assassin damage. I mean, that, that makes sense, right? That that's that daggers would be the assassin weapon? Yeah, it does. But but, but, but no, apparently. Uh, I could trade out my bow for basically the same bow, but better. Uh, but just slightly high DPS, which is probably not a terrible idea. How much does that cost, just out of interest? I've got like 700. That would cost me 268. Uh, I can buy crafting materials for them as well. Uh, those daggers are... It'll boost hunt up. Actually, you know what? That's only 229. It's the same damage as the sword I've got. So I might just do some of that because I feel like it. Then again, actually, these guys, they have lower DPS, but they do boost assassin damage. And adrenaline per... I'm not sure how adrenaline per hit works yet. I don't know how adrenaline works. I assume it means as you get kills, you get more powerful if you chain them. I don't know. 
but that strikes me as uh, likely. Uh, the sword I'm... Hang on, the sword I've got right now, what's its bonus? That's also hunter damage. Okay, I'll stick with the sword for now, because yeah, the sword uh, seems a lot faster. People are pointing out in the chat that the bow you were looking at was definitely level 7. Yes, I know. Uh, and that uh, the dagger you were looking at was a hunting dagger. Yes. And that's probably why uh, it doesn't actually uh, do the assassin -y things you, you want to. I'm going to sell the bow, I'm going to get rid of the bow I've got, or rather I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy the, the improved version of my existing bow. Actually, hang on. What does upgrading cost? If I want to buy the level 6, because that is just one level up. This is the same bow, but level up. So that's that would cost me... I think I could sell the other one for like 60. So that would, basically, it would cost me 200. If I want to upgrade this, then that's going to cost me... Okay, that's going to cost me 182. So I think that's a little bit cheaper. Ah, but it's also going to cost me wood, which otherwise I wouldn't need to bother with. So as I don't have that, I think I'm better off just buying the new one, because then I don't need to bother spending the money on the upgrade. So I'm just going to buy that. Because uh, it's the same bow, but it's basically, yeah, it's just the same bow, but slightly better. Uh, and then I'll just go over to that. And then I'll sell the last one. And then I'll make a tiny bit of money back. Like, not much, but a bit. Uh, so that's good. I might just buy some more arrows as well. Actually, I can just, I can craft anyway. Uh, oh, does it cost one... Wow, is that literally one wood per arrow? That's terrible. I'll just buy arrows from him. That's that's definitely a better idea. Uh, okay. Let me know if you have questions. Yeah, so now I'll sell him the level 5 bow. Uh, yeah, sell him that. Don't want to sell him that because I've already got that set up. I want to keep all of that for the time being. Uh, so yeah, that'll do me for now. And then buy... I assume you sell arrows, right, mate? Do you sell arrows? I would have thought you'd sell arrows. Uh, there's your bows. Okay. Shout out to uh, Nathaniel, who says, I once went to a Greek isle to sell shoddy construction materials. Now this is going towards a punchline. You could say I tried to concrete. Uh... Does he really not sell... Does he not sell any... I'm surprised he doesn't sell arrows. Chat, where does arrows come from? Aside from just making your own. I'm sure I've bought some from somewhere. The, black, the blacksmith doesn't sell them. Out. Who does? I'm going to keep it on the chat for a second. Claire. Yeah, shout out to Tim who gave us $2 and says, Thanks for doing two of my favorite games, this and Portal. Oh. It's uh, good. Portal was really fun. Yes. I, I love we got it all done in one video. I probably should have split it in two, but I kind of felt like, you know what, let's, let's do it in one. Let's just get it done here. You can, uh, you can craft your own arrows, people are saying. I know, but I don't want to waste that much wood doing it. I don't want to be spending ages hunting for wood. I guess I can buy wood off him. How much does wood cost from him? Mm. You can loot or craft. Okay, so you just don't buy them. Okay, well, I guess I'll check what the price of wood is. In that case, because if wood's like pretty cheap, oh, hello! I can just you assassinate pass, this guy for one too. Someone is saying you pass the arrows. Away. There was uh, racks of arrows pretty much things. everywhere. You just oh, you just steal them. Apparently, okay. Yeah. I mean, I can see that you can buy. Oh, wood's ten. Okay, so I can just buy a bunch of wood and then convert it into arrows. I say. Thanks for oh, well, while you do some of that, Brad gave us five dollars and wants to know what's your favorite Spartan one-liner. <laughs> Uh, as in from history, the, the Spartans didn't know. leave. The Spartans didn't leave much in the way of uh, didn't leave much in the way of literature. So it's kind of hard to hard to say, to be honest. I'm afraid. Uh, Thomas in chat wants to know if you are going to play any Portal Two. At some point, maybe. But if you don't want to see me play Portal Two, that is already on the old unofficial Nerd Cubed live stream uh, upload channel. It already exists. I played some with Matt many years ago still there. This guy is annoying me. Because so, I walked close to him and he said, step away! So I'm just gonna, I feel like I always want him to die. As soon as there's no witnesses. No witnesses. No witnesses. No witnesses. No witnesses. Screw it, he's gonna die anyway. Screw you! Yeah, that's right. That's flippin' right. Yeah, that's right. Now just, no, I, oh no, don't carry him. Don't carry him. Don't carry him. Actually, you don't put him in a bush, in a bush, in a bush, in a bush, in a bush. No crime has been committed here. No crime. Yes, hooray for me. That guy was probably a dick. Right, it's time to leave this island and not come back for a while. Because I just murdered a local policeman. And I feel like that someone's going to object to that. 
someone will object. So I just need to find a boat that needs to become my boat. Right, just summon a bird. There's a boat! Right, well that boat over there is going to become my boat now. And if anyone's got anything to say about that, well, then I need some practice with my new sword. So basically everything is A-OK. -okay. This is going to be my boat now. That looks like a good boat. Right, I'm just going to sail over to Kefalonia. So, Clad, good chance for you. Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to uh, James, who gave us $20 and says, Hello Headed from the house West of Odysseus Virginia. On a tiny boat. Uh, Roman? Ooh, sorry. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? Sorry, she just was saying something. That's it okay. wasn't hugely of consequence. Go on. Uh, that's okay. Roman Totale gave us uh, $25. Hello, Roman Totale. Uh, and says, Thanks for finally making new end cards. I can't wait to see what made it for England Exchange. Can confirm that of the six new end cards, two of them contain me declaring I am a genius. Great. Of great, different great, great, things. Great, great, great. Uh, regarding different things. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Indiana Matt gave us $20. And says, I can't stay. I have to go work the next 12 hours. So I'll be watching this when I get home. John, Claire, Tabby, please stay safe and keep on keeping all of us sane with your hard work. On behalf of uh, everyone, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome indeed. And yes, indeed, as I suspected, Odysseus's palace. I'm just going to do yeah. a little bit of tagging here. Because obviously the ruins were going to be the palace. The legendary uh, and yeah, yeah. um... He wasn't lying. All right, apparently I have an ID for the shroud, so I just need to tag all the people. So I just need to tag them for a second. Clab, while I just tag all the treasures and the people and the whatnots. Well, I was just going to say, um, Matt, Matt is saying that uh, he's going to be working for the next 12 hours, and that seems like, you know... A lot. That kind of shift is probably something pretty essential, so thank you. Yes, one hopes that Europe that. people only have to do that for very essential yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, you know, for, for, if... if um, you know, for doctors and medical personnel, yes. they make them do much longer shifts because it's then easier to have continuity of care with, like, the one patient so they don't have to change doctors too Makes many sense. times. Makes sense, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, can you roll all the new end cards at the end of the stream? Uh, Maybe not roll all I, of them, but we could do one. I'll tr if I can figure out how to make it show it, yes, we could. Okay, yeah, at the end of the stream... We'll try and find a way to show off at least one new one. Yes, that that strikes me as eminently reasonable. Yeah, and uh, Jessica gave us ten dollars and says hi, John and Claire. Working from home and happy to be uh, to be able to make a stream. My birthday is tomorrow and March was a terrible month, so I want to thank you both and the mods for the endless hours of entertainment. Oh, thank you very very much indeed. And a wolf just randomly attacked these guys. Yes, gonna... and happy birthday for tomorrow. And happy birthday for tomorrow. Uh, yes, indeed. Why am I supposed to save that person? Why are you the quest? I thought I was here for the shroud. I don't even know who this person is. There's just a person here, but all right. Right, we're going to do a last pass for treasure and whatnot. And then we should be in good shape. Clap. Yeah, a uh, new Darganism gave us $10. And they're so grateful for you both. I have played back the Skyrim stream twice for my own sanity and started watching MATN archives with my kids while they're stuck at home with me. Not the live streams, though. The live stream, uh, Or the odd video that comes with a content warning, like Half-Life Alex. Yeah. I which came with unexpected swearing warning. Oh, yeah. All the videos that contain copious amounts of murder are much better. Yes. Um, Slightly. They <laughs> Slightly. might be. Uh, uh, Tavit? Gave us $40. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. I'm sorry. Uh, but they say, hello, John and Claire. I just want to send you a bit of money as a thank you for the last four years worth of entertainment. Uh, I would, um, I work night shift at my local hospital and have to work tonight. So I'll catch up with this later. There's so many goddamn heroes in chat today. Damn straight. Also, this guy just set himself, that guy just set himself on fire. I didn't do that. He just managed to some. I don't even know how he managed to do that. But this ra that random guy just set himself on fire. I think he literally walked into a fire and died. And everyone seems not surprised. So clearly these are these are not the most spectacular genius people in the world here. Right, time to clamber up here. I think this is a good approach, uh, based on what I've seen anyway. Clap. Mhm. Mm uh, French. French underscore bread, which is a good username, Excellent. Uh, gave us $5 
and said thank you for the content, John. Glad to be doing then this over my actual schoolwork. Well, for now. But then again, I can't exactly escape now, so... Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. You have closed all the doors, so, you know. Yes, every, uh, the doors have now been sealed. You may, you must now learn things But ancient history. Lived on Kefalonia? Ooh. I never realised that my dear this is his palace was here. How did you not realise that? He was like, literally, it was right next to you. It was literally right next door. Okay, uh, if you're just going to walk past not too close by... Yeah, you're walking away right now. Where are you about to go? Because we might just assassinate you immediately. Uh, can we kill you in one go? Yeah, we can. I'm gonna take you out. Don't walk past him. All right, and now grab him. And now we're going to move him out of the way. So nobody sees anything. There we go. Pop him down over there. Why was there... Why was there fuzzy mist in my vision? Oh, it's because there's... There's, there's additional wolves. <laughs> this is so weird. I can I can verify how his health's going. He's actually that. You might be about to win. Okay, that wolf just slaughtered two, two guys. Now I don't even need to get involved at this point. That that wolf is just I don't know where this wolf came from, but he's he's just cleared out a large number of guards for me. He's about to take out another because an archer at point blank range is not going to be uh not going to be useful. So you're about to. Uh, you're about to be in trouble, my friend. And woofy, woofy, woof. Oh, no, he's, he's actually wounded. The wolf is wounded. And he needs to... Oh, he's going for a poison shot. No, nope, now, oh, now you're trapped in the corner. This is this is not the most epic battle I've ever seen. This is... Uh-oh. You need to be assassinated because you just interrupted... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You, you also need to be assassinated. They literally just walked into a bush while I was oh cock me. I was hiding in a bush and then they they run they ran into the same bush. That's that was not my fault. That was not my fault. Okay, I'm hidden for the time being. They're gonna start looping around in that direction. Okay, I need to find a new approach. Right the flip now. Okay, we're but on the plus side, that's gonna draw a lot of attention to that side of the base, which means I can go to the other side of the base. Which is fine. Which is actually where my main objective is. So we're going to go around over here. Get me out of here. Yeah, apparently I'm supposed to be rescuing you. I don't know why, but... I mean, okay. Cool. This sort of accidentally worked out. Who are you? you will not Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. No, don't fight. We're not fighting. We're sneaking out of here because we're assassins. Or probably will be. Uh, okay. As it turns out, we can just be wandering off to freedom. But that was nice and easy. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakas sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. Uh, yeah, you know what, sure. I'll do it, though to be honest, a wolf already killed half of them. I'll help you get to the palace. Is that our girlfriend? Well, I'm in Possibly. Lapin. What do I call you? Cassandra. I'm Odessa. Named after the great Odysseus. And yeah, are you after the same thing I'm after? Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca? And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. Well, I'm going to be honest, you do, because if you can't get up to the palace by yourself, then you're not doing a great job of giving an account of yourself as a great Greek hero, given, like, you know noble blood and uh, ability being passed down hereditarily was completely a thing in the stories, but whatever. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. Okay, so me and you are now going to be best friends. Are you... Don't just go off ahead. Please just don't go off ahead. All right, we're, we're, we're... Okay, if I go in this direction, will you follow me? Or are you just doing your own thing now? Better stay hidden. Okay, she wants to go in that direction. Okay, oh fair God. enough. Yes, Claire. Um, shout out to Rad Radish Radiator who gave us a thousand Swedish krona. Ooh, thousand krona. I know. Best krona. Oh dear. 
uh, and says, This is the start of my petition to make John rename the two Serbias in his Crusader Kings 2 playthrough back to their normal state to stop hurting people's brains. Can confirm that will at some point happen. Okay, uh, this is, okay, this is gone horribly wrong. Okay, this is, this is... Ah. Okay, go, 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 go. You just need to die, actually. Right, get out of the way, and go, go, go. How's she doing, by the way? How's... Oh, she's got special... She's got special uh, fire arrows, which is pretty good. And there we go. Yeah, her fire arrows are quite useful, as it turns out. Okay, so this 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 might be why we wanted to kill everyone before we came in. Because, yes, uh, she's just going to literally decide... She's just going to YOLO through the camp rather than sneak around the outside. Like I was vaguely this planning. Is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. Okay, but could we go via the treasure chest? Because I'd like to do a bit of looting while we're passing through. All right, I know this might theoretically be like, you know, your stuff or something. There's one treasure. Some Athenian bus skins. Excellent. And I don't know where she... Maybe that boat we saw at the beginning was hers. I'm not sure. Also, how far away is that treasure? That feels like that's a fair way away. We'll go and take care of that at the end. I want to go get the ancient thing over there first. So, we you know, we had to kill a few people. But that's fine. Everything's under control. That, that thing over there is now unguarded. So, we can just go and grab that and be on our way. Clap. Yeah, uh, shout out to Omer who gave us uh, five euros even uh, and says, this is an amazing game. Thank you for all your excellent content. Uh, Gary gave us 10 pounds and says, I just joined the stream. I haven't played an Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag, but this looks fun. So I'll probably give it a go. Thanks for the hours of entertainment, Claire, Tabby and John. Oh, thank you very much, too. Speaking of Black Flag, Snake Dead. Doctor gave us uh, ten pounds and says, "John, where do you think, based on what you've played so far, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey sits on your list of the best Assassin's Creed games?" Oh, I, I've not played enough of like any of them to give you a solid answer on that. I'm gonna be honest; that'd be very tricky for me to for me to do. Uh, but I mean. It's probably like, it feels like it's up there with 2 and Black Flag to me, which were my favourites before this point. Uh, so, it's, take that as you will. Also, I, I still need to find whatever one of them is. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, but I didn't see anything else being flagged. I mean, it might be over there. Okay. Where is whatever's left at this point? I guess I could just kill everybody. I mean, people seem to be pro-killing everybody. So if I just were to, like, kill everybody... Assassinate! I mean, it gets me XP. Shout out to Safety Trousers who says in the chat, I got killed by chickens on this island. <laughs> Which I have to say is something that I wouldn't have good. expected to see outside of John's Skyrim run. Whatever. That or Zelda. That was a vintage Amity and Burn. Or, Ze or Zelda. Plenty of mm -hmm. uh, plenty of this going on in Zelda. All of that nonsense. And I swear there was one more over there. No, that's just where you want me to go ultimately. Well, I did see there was a chest all the way over. Oh, there's something over there. Okay, there's something up there. We'll just go in that direction in that case. Uh, yeah, that seems like that's pretty close by. I'll just clamber straight up the the cliff and uh, handle that from there. Clap. <laughs> Yeah, shout out to Mountain Molly, who gave us $5, and says, Hello, John and Claire. Thanks for all uh, the consistently great videos. You are the best way to pass these longer, quiet days. Congrats to Claire on the Hugo nomination. Oh, lots of congratulations for you. Thank you very, very much, Molly. It's so exciting. And there we go. We've got that fatal attraction. If you retrace the steps of Odysseus and take the path north... You will find a goat farm in Ithaca, where he once met Athena. She helped him with a disguise to reclaim his wife and kill her suitors. Find your reward on a slaughtered goat. Okay. 
So, what we need to do is, yes, uh, go, go north. So if you take the path north, find a goat farm. Okay, which path do we mean? Is there actually a, a, a path anywhere? Because I don't actually see a path, I just see like a forest. I mean, it could be, it could be that unknown location right there. Well, I see bad people. I don't see much evidence of goats. But I see, I see a camp of bad people. That's certainly true. Do I see any? I mean, maybe it might be at the very north of the island. It might be that farm all the way over there. Those are goats, but they're wild goats. You know what? We'll just head north and we'll follow the thing and do what it says. That's what we'll do. We'll kill some people. We'll get some treasure. We'll try and find something on a slaughtered goat. And also, I think there's a wolf around here somewhere. So I just heard wolfy noise and the game's gone into angry mode. Yeah, I see you. And dead. Nice. Really shouldn't waste our arrows though. Bit of a waste of bit of a waste of arrows there. And go. Go! Excuse me. You know, I'll just I'll just wail on you. That's fine. With the health regen, that'll come out before we get to them. Okay, couple of people need to be taken out. Couple of treasures need to be Looted. Claire, all yours. Uh, yeah, shout out to Yash, who gave us $2 and says, uh, John, get crit critical assassinate, assassinate ASAP. <sighs> critical assassinate, okay. Sorry, I said that. Uh, I said that very, very funny. Uh, David gave us $10 and says, this game is hit and miss with historical accuracy. It can be really good at times and then you see an endgame cutscene where the pyramids are being built 2,000 years after they were actually built. It's probably all this nonsense with a piece of Adam or something. Oh. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, Rad Radish Radiator gave us another, hundred, another thousand Swedish krona. Uh, and so like, just commit, um, just commit. What? <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, that that assassination was hilarious. No, I know. It's just I'm, I, yeah. Their message is a bit. I think their mess, I think there was some autocorrect on there. Um, just commit to not. Um, I don't know. You're gonna have to clarify for me because there's something about a goat on its own. Mm -hmm. uh, just commit not living anyone on a goat of your own that should do it. I am not sure what that means. I think there might have been some typos there. Please at reply me in the chat. That is that is uh, some <laughs> that's that's some that's some good wisdom for that we could all live by right there. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and there's, there's a couple of people in the chat asking for clarification about uh, the mention of the nomination. Um, we've got a YouTube channel where I talk about books and now got nominated for an award and it's the Hugo's. Um, Which is quite a big deal if you well, don't know what these are. Yeah, it's quite a big deal. It's a, it's, um, it's a science fiction and fantasy award that's like voted by the people that, um, by the Worldcon community. So it's, it's a big deal because it's like voted by the fandom and by people. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. it means people think that my YouTube channel does important work, which is very, uh, very gratifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that is that. Here um, we go. I found a path. So I'm just going to follow this north and we're going to see if we run into a goat farm. Fade up. Now we're on a path. I'm pretty sure we're past the bad guys. Hello, random teleporting horse who was on a different island, but has managed to just make his way to this one. Get out of the way, goat! Go! Apparently, someone is saying commit not alive is like... Commit, quote, not alive is a polite way of saying killing. Which I, I just don't... Know. I've never heard that expression before. Uh, there's a person in chat asking how do we spam votes for you and the answer to that is uh, you, you don't. Like, please absolutely don't do that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's awful. I would never want to win that way. And I believe you can't because it's only members of the something already, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Claire is getting a Hugo. I'm not getting a Hugo. I'm up in the final, like, six group of people who might be getting it. Um, but, you know, the other nominees are also uh, excellent people doing amazing work. So, I don't know. Uh, you know, it's my first ever nomination. So, there are um, people who've you know, been nominated before and stuff, so they are maybe a little bit better known, I don't know. Okay, it's a um, tiny farm here. Alright, this is a pig farm, though. 
We weren't looking for a pig farm, were we? We were looking for a goat farm. So that's that's not what we want. We want to be going up here, where there was another farm that I'll be having myself a bit of olive wood. So yeah, there's lots of olive wood, just are you a goat or are you a... Hello? The goat is fine. Uh, okay, so every one of those little trees is worth like three. And... <laughs> My eagle just killed a goat. I think he was just hungry. Goat farm. Okay. Hello there, Mr. Goat Farm. So go to a goat farm. Look for a loan. Look for my reward here. Look for my reward. Okay. Where do I get the reward at the goat farm that I have now located? Admittedly, I, I do see there are there are wolves. Say, so, oh, 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 ah. Apparently, I'm commit not alive. I'm commit not alive is a meme for being dead. That I don't know, but I feel better about it because you didn't know it either. I've so. no, I've never heard of that. No, <laughs> never heard of that. If Claire wins the award, John will never hear the end of it. I mean, I'm not planning on letting hit him hear the end of you being a finalist. FYI. <laughs> Once you have been a finalist for the Hugo, you get to call yourself Hugo finalist so and so like your entire life. Now I'm planning on doing that. She she is, I can believe it. Okay, I found a thing here, but that was just some ore that was like at the top of the. What's that over there? Oh, that's just like another. That's just like another wolf. That's just another wolf down over there. Okay. I'm not seeing my reward, despite the fact it was mentioned on a big thing. Hmm. I've taken out some wolves. I've saved the, the, the people who live on the goat farm. I'm keeping an eye on chat here for a second. The entrance to the farm. There is a slaughtered goat there. Okay. The entrance to the farm. There is a slaughtered goat. Okay, where is officially the entrance to the farm? Is that the entrance to the farm? Or is this... Do you mean like when we get up to here? Okay. That's a cart of vegetables. In here? No. There's, aha! Okay. One. Okay! Ostraca resolved! So I have now officially got myself something. Alright, let's check what that just uh, got me. I just saw that over there. No, the war spear I already had. Is it a new type of bow? You walk just right past the goat. Apparently, it's on the dead goat. Yeah, I got it. I think I just oh, got, got that. Sorry, I think I just I got just... a serpent bow, which that's pretty good because that's more powerful and it does boost assassin damage, which is what I want to boost more than anything. So that's Ooh. pretty good. Th those are identical. Uh, so uh, screw it. I'll just break that down for parts because that'll get me wood. And wood is arrows, which is quite good. Okay, so when I hit level 7, I can use the new Serpent Bow, which boosts assassin damage, which is better. And also, I've just picked up... Yes, and I've, I've got Penelope Shroud. Wait, where did I get... I'm not sure when I actually picked that up. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. And yeah, I don't want to go over to that, because that's not very good. I've got some new shoes. Oh, yeah, I got those, um, the buskins. So I'm going over my Spartan buskins to my Athenian buskins, which boosts my warrior damage, but... How? Okay, Claire. Yeah. Uh -huh. Those shoes provide less than a half the defensive benefit of these shoes. Bullshit, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I call bullshit on this nonsense. What? But those other shoes have a lot more, like metal. I feel. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I don't buy this bullshit. I don't buy this bullshit. They look comfy. I'll give you that. They do look comfy. That's true. Uh, okay, so now I've got the thing. I need to take it back to what's-his-face, Elpenor. That's absolutely fine. Oh, uh, John? Yes? Did you want to see some cat pictures? I always want to see cat pictures. Here's the cat picture. Is that a cat that looks like beginning a, a stretch by any a chance? stretch, and here's another cat. Both good cats. Both very good cats. Those are Annie and Leo, who uh, we get regular updates on from Anthony, who sends us pictures every stream which is so appreciated thank you very very much indeed uh <laughs> let's see. let's just find the one last location on ithaca then we'll go back and turn in those two oh claire look at that let's go oh bloody hell bloody hell it's pretty right yeah. now 
Is this by any chance? I'm seeing bandit camp, which makes me feel like I should be a bit careful around here. Uh, it's about ankle support, John. I don't know about that. Yeah, but it literally says the armor is is higher. Like, if, if the armor is high, I don't care how good the ankle support is. I don't buy this nonsense. Right, okay. Hide over here. What do I need to do in this part of the world? I um, need to. Watching for me. Why is the bit rate on the careful. stream so low? It's super grainy whenever the camera moves too quickly and I'm watching it in max resolution. That's going to happen anyway on YouTube to some degree, just because this game's very visually busy. And everything gets a bit pixelated when, like, you know, things too much changes simultaneously on YouTube. That's always going to happen just because there's always going to be that on YouTube to some extent or another. Uh, but the bitrate is a bit low because the internet right now is a little bit on the slow side just because everybody in the world is using it. Yeah, um, we started doing this a couple of streams ago. It was uh, buffering, like... Because, yeah, it, really it, it, it avoids the buffering, yeah. Because a lot of more people are streaming on YouTube than usual and a lot more people are watching on YouTube than usual. So it's, yeah. uh, their ser servers are a bit strained. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so a visually busy game like this is going to be much more noticeable, mm. whereas previously, like, yeah. if we've done visually more simple games, it's going to be a lot less noticeable. So I'm sorry about that. But, like, you'll notice the same thing. Like, if you look back at old videos of... I think it... Oh, screw you! You completely ruined... Completely ruined everything! You... I was not... I was being... Good! Screw you! Go away! Okay, you know what you want to come at me? Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! And yes. And you are dead. That was... I was going to assassinate him in a badass fashion, but then a wolf jumped me and broke my... Flipping everything. He, Cover. Yeah. He kind yeah, of no, he basically that. started a battle, which is just downright rude. That's just rude right there. Dear oh dear. That was gonna be badass, but no a wolf had to ruin everything. Right, I'll be having your stuff. Stuff, treasure, pressure oh it's precious gems times four. Not much. Still that gets me at least a little bit of stuff there. There's a good heavy bone. Okay, what's the difference between a heavy bow and a normal bow? Because heavy bow does sound good in its own way. That wolf ruined it. 65 versus 65. Okay, it does boost assassin damage, so I'm going straight over to that. John, you totally ignored the howling wolf for two minutes. What do you expect? I expect him to keep his distance. Just I thought he'd just kind of do his own thing. Uh, your long shadow says I do kind of resent this game for making me kill wolves all the time, but not even letting me pet dogs. Which I think is an excellent point. Yeah, eminently reasonable. Right, we're just going to take this little tanny tanny boat and we're just going to gondola it around the coast to what's her face. Claire, while we head over there. Yeah, shout out to Anastasia who gave us 200 rubles and says, Hi John and Claire. Thank you for live streaming Odyssey today. I just finished it myself yesterday and I would love to see John's full playthrough someday. Uh, this is one of those ones we'll kind of, you know, do sporadically on live streams as the votes come in, I would say. that's There's too much we need to do. Like, you know, I want to, even though it's just been pushed back, which is really helpful because I was getting really worried about timings. Uh, yeah. I want to look at The Last of Us before The Last of Us 2 comes out. Uh, we've said already we want to do a bit more Subnautica as like a proper series. Uh, I'd like to do Vampire Masquerade before 2 comes out for that. And all of a sudden, with a bit more space than I was expecting floating around, we might even have time to look at Xenoblade Chronicles, which is one of the best games ever made, because uh, that's coming out excuse me, sooner than I was expecting, quite frankly. Uh, so all of that needs to be looked at at some point or another. I'm guessing this is where what's her face is. Is that Odessa over there? Hello, Odessa. Oh no, sorry. She was she was literally just standing there waiting for me to help escort her. This is like Tabby. Like yeah. she was just waiting there for someone to walk her back to her own boat. Tabby does that, by the way. When she's like, she wants to go somewhere, she won't just go there. She'll wait for a human. She'll a attract a human's attention so a human can go and can walk her there. And she's doing the same thing. Well, well she's just a special. This is for you. Such a disappointment. I Why really am. You're so not the first woman who's called me that. <laughs> Odysseus lived there, ruled there. He ended the Trojan War, eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. We need to have a word with her about Wild how some of these are probably not real stories. Fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods too. 
That caused him a lot of trouble. Good catch point. And it made him a legend. And <laughs> it's cute. You're determined. Yes, we're gonna flirt with her. We're going. Yes, yes we're going ancient Greek lesbian. You look cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. Uh, okay, you're ugly. <laughs> no, John, no. <laughs> oh, I could use a different word. There are a few other ones I can think of that would suit you. I can't wait to hear them. How about beautiful? That works even better. The other ones will come later. I hope later comes soon. So what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? Uh, great is great does. It. Great, being great isn't easy. Yeah, that's all. If you want Odysseus's greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? Only in the post I canon. All the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus's life. Not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me. Oh, Whoa! we blow it. We blow it. We flipping blow it there. Oh, no. All right, well, I'm stealing a boat in that case. My boat now. My boat now. Gonna be my boat. I'm assuming this, given it's got, like, shields, with, well, I'm guessing a picture of Odysseus on them. I'm guessing this is her boat. My boat now, though. So long, loser. Wow. Uh, shout out to Caitlin, who gave us $5 and says, Hello from Seattle. Upside to Washington's stay-at-home order is being able to catch MATN live streams. Thanks for the history lesson, John and Claire. Yeah, fun fact, uh, literally on that topic, uh, for the most part, like, Odysseus is like, you know, a really cunning trickster, is a post-Iliadic thing. In the Iliad, he's just as well known as a great warrior. He's a speaker. He's one of the speakers sent to speak to... Achilles in book nine, absolutely. But he's not sort of like, you know, as particularly cunning or particularly clever. That was like an invention that was particularly kind of added in more so by Sophocles and Euripides in later tragedies, where he becomes a bit more of like a, a kind of almost a sleazy con man in like Sophocles' Philoctetes. But like in the Iliad, though he is, you know, he's relatively clever and cunning, it's not particularly more than anybody else. He's, he's just a great hero equal to all the others. He's not really characterised in particular by like, you know, being super cunning or clever. That's not really a defining characteristic. But then many characters don't really have like, characterization in the Iliad doesn't really work like that. Like, you, the characters don't have specific personalities in many ways. Like, many heroes are just heroic and they're all technically personality-wise quite interchangeable. Uh, and Iliad is not thought of in particular that way. Anyway, here's some stuff for you. Cassandra? Good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now, the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Miss Theos. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. Another job, perhaps? You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Down for it! Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away, you might never return. That honestly is absolutely fine. I'm, I'm not an assassin. I'm... This, it's a Gabe's code. Never mind, yeah, we'll go kill him. Generals Fine. bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? And, okay, tell me more about him first. Who is this general? They call him the wolf. he do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me drachmi. He's not good for business. All right, and Megara? Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their hope. 
It's more commonly anglicised as Mega, a bit okay. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. Okay, fair enough. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? Yeah, I just stole one from a lesbian I struck out with. And I have a boat, or I don't have a boat. I'm not sure I have a good enough boat. Do I have a boat? Alright, so uh, let us know if John has a boat or not. And in the meantime, shout out to Mackerel, who gave us 50 Swedish kroner and says, Hi, John and Claire. I hope you all find in isolation, not feeling frustration uh, and keeping away from uh, COVID-19. I am okay, but it's delayed my train education. Ooh, train education. Yeah, I don't know if this is a kind of like a... It was like train hyphen education, so I don't know if it's like a, a mix of training and education or just actually like learning how to drive train and or build trains, which would be also very cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I have a boat. More so I need like a bigger boat. Like, if I say I don't have a boat, does he give me a boat? And if I say I have a boat... You will get a boat if you don't have one yet. I'm just going to okay, I'm just going to say I don't have a boat then. You don't have a good enough boat. I don't yeah. have a boat, all right. If I had People a boat, are, are we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. Okay, what war? Peloponnesian War, which should have already begun. In fact, yes, it must. Well, I'm not sure. If, well, it depends what year, where, where we are in 431. Uh, but you are definitely aware of it because you've been hearing people talking about making bows and weapons for Athens, like, all the time. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. Mm -hmm. And yes, who are you? And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. <laughs> it's a good, simple answer. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. There we go, got the- Ooh! I get the Shroud of Penelope as the thing I can literally wear as a shroud! It's pretty good. I like that. Okay, what does it do? In that case, that's that's kind of exciting. In fact, that might actually be my first hat. Excellent. So, big break. Uh, the Odyssey quest. So, talk to a shipbuilder. I've got some money, so I should okay, be okay. So, uh, people are just pointing out if you're in a conversation and you see the scale symbol, that means a lie. Ah. In the dialogue. So, uh, you I can see. see that, but obviously uh, that, that will be a lie. And then, yeah, people are pointing out that uh, obviously the boat that you have right now, it's too small for deep waters. Hmm. So ah. we're going to need to find a, a bigger one. I should uh, go see the ship. And later. then uh, Mackerel confirms learning how to drive trains. That's pretty That's cool. Very cool. I swear this is the guy I killed previously. Just going to run into him. Maybe I'll, no. I don't want to assassinate him because I need, I need to do some business with the local, you know, boat trader around here. Uh, let's see what the... The blacksmith. I, I swear I'm carrying around all this stuff. How do I sell my generic junk? Like, do you just have a buy all junk button? Because, like, yes, yeah, sell. Yes, yeah, sell all trade goods. Oh, it's only 141. That's yeah, not bad, to be honest. Uh, spear is warrior damage. That's hunt damage. I'll just sell the spear uh, for a little bit of money in that case. Uh, I'll sell this because now I've got that. And I'll keep this because I want to go over to that shortly. Everything else I'm fine with for the time being. That's really good if I'm in an open fight. I can get rid of these shoes now. Uh, those are... That's hunt damage, which I kind of prefer, but screw I'm not going to go over to much worse shoes just for the sake of that. Well, I've got a thousand gold at the bare minimum. So I'll kind of take that as a as a starting point. Stop by yes. Again. I was just wondering when you were going to remember what you pay me for and let me say some things. Uh, I need to go and speak to the boat person. Yes, but you're just walking now. But he's right there. Let's see what he has got to say. He's probably got, he probably, look, he'll probably ask me to go and get some money. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Cassandra! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. So I price a thousand gold, because seriously, I've got a thousand gold. What'll it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than one hundred thousand. Uh-oh. Hundred thousand? Who has that much? We're stealing that boat. Are you serious about buying a ship? 
You think craftsmanship like this is given away? I mean, he makes a good point. We're gonna have to kill him and steal the bug. What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telimenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Okay, fair enough. That doesn't help. Malaga. How is that helpful? That monster held Kefalonia captive for too long. I figure if anyone could finally rid us of his stents, it would be you. Telimenes, what does this have to do with my need for a boat? Rumor also has it the Cyclops has docked his ship in Kleptus Bay. Ah. A ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. All right, finally take him out, steal his boats. Gotcha. Take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. All right, so where's Kleptus... Excuse me. Where is Kleptus Bay? Uh, okay, the room has to be in the centre of the... Ah, it's docked in the centre of the Pronoi Peninsula. Uh, which bit is the Pronoi Peninsula? That is Curse Valley of Palai. Uh, Pronoi Peninsula. Ah, it'll be this area, close by to that base I cleared out not long ago. Logically, it would be there. So, it'll, it'll definitely be there. Okay, well, possibly it could be over here. I mean, that's this looks like a bay to me. I feel like that's where we're going. So we're going to go over there. We're going to hunt him down. Clap, all yours, while we start trying to find this boat. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Not A Real Name, who gave us $20, 20 pounds, and says, Hey, John, long time viewers. Thanks for the content. I'm taking the slightly insane step of starting Classics Masters with no previous experience Sweet. in the summer. And the way you talk about it is definitely a factor why. Oh, amazing. I don't know what, uh, like, what sort of uh, uh, course that is precisely. Well, I assume that's, like, maybe uh, culture rather than, obviously, you know, linguistics. Given it would be quite difficult to throw yourself into a, uh, a linguistics course without any knowledge of the, uh, any knowledge of the language. Uh, if you had no previous experience, that would certainly be on the, uh, the tricky side. I'm hearing wolves, as usual. All right, I'm guessing that it's right here in, yeah, Kleptus Bay. All right, I'm just going to drive my boat around till you get a, a lock on. Where's the boat, though? I'm not seeing a massive boat over here. I'm seeing something. Yeah, around right over here. That's a boat. Can't be the boat I'm after. Yeah, get over here. Ah, hang on. There was that secret cave through here. And there's a bunch of people. The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. Cyclops. There we go. Only level six, surprisingly. Time to go and have a little chat to him, apparently. Maybe clear up the others first. Okay, I'm going to scan for anybody else who might be in the area. Claire. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to Barbarian God, who gave us five euros. And said, I saw the Avril Lavigne Hello Kitty video in its entirety against all advice. Bad, uh, bad call. This is something that John mentioned in the patron cast. Uh, and Bar Barbarian God says, I am now dead from the cringe. It's 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 not a good video, but it's not the worst. It's, I think it's quite a catchy song. Mm -hmm, but I can, mm -hmm. I can, uh, I can understand why, uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Josh gave us $5 and says, It's my birthday today. This game is so colourful and I love the history. Thanks for playing. And, oh, that's very sweet. Congrats on your nomination, Claire. You got this. Oh. Thank you very, very much indeed. You got this, Claire. Ah, oh, well, I mean, I, I'm personally not sure I got this in terms of, like, who I'm up against. But, you know. Yes, but we just need to kill them. We've discussed this. Can you please not threaten my friends on the internet of things that never dies? Thank you. Ah, uh, fine, I guess. <laughs> Shout out to Knickknacks who gave us $10 and says, I love this game. By the way, the Amazonian gear is the only way to go. 
purely on looks, of course. Thank you for the extra entertainment during the pandemic. Please give Tabby a stroke on my behalf. Oh, Tabby gets so many strokes already, don't you worry. Absolutely do that. Tabby gets uh, so many pettings. Yeah, and uh, Stormsin gave us five euros and says, Just a little thank you. Please stay safe and both of you, uh, and thank you both for your friendliness and good entertainment. Um, thank you very much. Is that wolf going to come in? going to whistle at this wolf. going to whistle at this wolf. Hey, wolf. Wolf. Hey, wolf. Check out this whistling bush. Check it out. It's whistling. Whistling. Whistling bush. Hey, just a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Oh, f <laughs> All right, wolf. Smarter than your average guard, as it turns out. All right, fair enough. Whatever. I'll be having all of that. All right, now we just sneak down and assassinate some of these people. We need to start nice and high up and work our way down here. All right, this is all going to be just fine. I watch my step around here. Okay, uh, a grain of rice wants to know from the chat uh, if your Assassin's Creed video uh, get demonetized because of you showing um, <laughs> penises on stage. It didn't actually. Mm -hmm. It didn't, which is, uh-oh, uh-oh, someone heard that, someone heard the wolf howling. Okay, well that's absolutely fine, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna sneak down over here and get out the way. We're just gonna get out. Okay, this has gone a little bit on the wrong side. This is fine. We're invisible right now. Are they going to be coming in this direction? Do you know where I am? Because they can't climb down. So some of them will be going in this direction. You're coming over here. I just need to assassinate you and then basically GTFO. Right. Assassinate. Now I just need to start moving. Okay, that went a bit wrong there because the wolves! So is the cocking wolves. Yeah, you can't normally assassinate an animal, but you can use the rush assassination skill to quickly get rid of them. You can definitely assassinate a wolf. I've literally, I literally assassinated the first wolf I came upon uh, on in that little temple. Right, you've now detected your friend. Dead. Okay, and now they're all going to come and investigate that spot where they saw me one by one. Yeah, some of those guys are now up there, out of the way. You're just going to consistently come into this. I can apparently... Ooh! Okay, apparently I do have a leap assassinate. You just need to be uh, in the right... Uh, in exactly the right position. You need to be quite close for it to trigger. Uh, okay, how many more people are going in that direction? You're now coming down over here, which is fine. You are... Ooh. That's right. How about you come over in this direction? You just caught a glimpse of me, which honestly I'm actually kind of happy about. Because it means it's going to lead you in the right direction. So now you guys are over. Ooh, ooh. Come on. Come on. That's the big lad over there. I like it when they, you know, they don't know 100% where you are, but they start detecting you a little bit. Let's see if we can just draw a bit of attention. A bit of whistling. Yeah, that's right. You don't belong here. That's right. You don't belong here. Someone's coming to investigate, and in a moment they'll come and see this corpse. Which I'm really wanting them to come and see, actually. Yeah, don't want to assassinate you with a headshot. Mm, even a headshot wouldn't finish you. No, seriously, there's... There was a corpse. <laughs> they don't... They, sometimes they react very oddly to... Uh, oh, there's two of them there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, okay, well, if there's two of you down over there, that means there's... Isolated people right here. Hello! Right, okay, and... Uh, excuse me. We'll just take you out the old-fashioned way, and... There we go. Come on, come on. And tell me ready. Come on, and... Parry! Big attack. Down he goes. And now... Oh, the Cyclops is here. Okay, that's... I think actually, you know what? I'm happy to just uh, run. And then... This is the one point in the world you apparently can't climb. All the things in the world I can climb, but I can't climb that one wall. Apparently that one wall is the unclimbable wall. Right. Yeah, you know what? You may, you can just try and... You just try and... Oh, no. Stab. Tell me how that off you. Right, okay. And now he's, he's roundabout over here. Okay, can I... 
Can I hop up? Can you like drop on top of him? I'm trying to. Yes! <laughs> Neat. One hit kill with the Cyclops. Kaboom. Right, now we're just going to toss him over the edge. In fact, okay, now I'm going to try and toss him on his friend. Can I Can I hit his friends with him? I want to lock onto you and... No, okay, well I can... No, 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 no. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, fine. He's dead anyway. Now we get... Oh, hang on. Maybe that wasn't the... Maybe that wasn't the Cyclops. I thought that was the Cyclops. We got into a cutscene. Oh, the gods as my witness. I swear. That wait. wasn't the Cyclops. What? It was just some the guy. Sorry. <laughs> all of them. I swear. All of them. I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days. <gasps> let him go. Why would we let him know we were here? No one on this isn't island like is allowed to say is, that Isn't word. like sneak critical point? Did he hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that. Um, oh, I didn't. I, uh, but you're so fat. I mean, big and strong. And you really do only have one eye. We're just showing off the eye we stole off him. We stole his special oh, eye. I yeah. see. Give it to me. Give it to me and I won't kill Marcos for having yeah, you, you steal it. Stuff, kill the Give it to all. me. Boo. You want it? <laughs> Go get it. That goat had done nothing wrong. Also, that eye was really valuable. Oh gosh, darn it! Okay, apparently we're just we're just okay. Take out his little friends first. Then avoid. Okay, we want to take out all his little friends before we deal with him. If at all possible. Okay, get out of the way. Ah. Right, I want to focus on him. Okay, this is going a little bit. Screw you. This is your final day alive. Okay, Anne. Okay, Anne. Go. Okay, remember you have to hold for that business and no. Okay. Uh bear in mind I do have special abilities, of course. Uh so that and ah, there we go. That's some good damage right over there. And also, you know what? I've also got my special poison ability. And X. And now Go, go, poison! Dead. That was unnecessary, but I enjoyed it. Right, so you're dead at this point. And I'll be looting your stuff. And I'll also... I'll, I'll get to you in a second. I've just got a guy I need to kill over here. I need to get into the right position to just see you... Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> and number two! <laughs> Stabby stab. I enjoy the stabbing. The stabbing is excellent. Right, okay. So I'd run, I had aerial takedowns this whole time. I just needed to, to get it right. Okay, fair enough. So that was... We could have done that more subtly. Also, can, I need to go and get that eye out back out of that ghost's ass. Because we know that thing had value. Like, so much value. And are you free now, my friend? Do you want to be my captain? delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus! These Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. Alright, and we left one guy alive just having a nap over there. Which is absolutely a-okay. I'm guessing his boat's over in uh, in this direction. I don't know precisely where. Is it just around the corner? We're about to see a really, really big, amazing boat just hidden out of the way. Because I'm, I'm not seeing any massive... I mean, I'm seeing a small boat over there. I'm underwhelmed if that's my boat. Is that my new boat? Because that looks no bigger than the boats I I've already had. Thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. He's going to help you sail ah, the boat, though. Where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Is that the Adrestia well, over Varnavas. there? I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Cassandra, Mystheus by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. 
That sounds like pure coincidence. Also, there was also a goat that had an eyeball up its ass, but the goats didn't send him. All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. And okay, interesting, fair enough, I suppose. Uh, yeah, what did you do precisely? So why were those men attacking you? Oh, well, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. But he probably used to anyway. I'm guessing he won't be doing it anymore. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home. But I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So, you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. And go on. Tell me more. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. True. Also horses. I saw his beast. His murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. Okay, I'm guessing you don't mean a horse, but Poseidon was actually, like, known for horses. Uh, so I'm not sure why you, but I'm guessing you, you, you're referring to more like a kraken. Because everyone loves a kraken. Even though it's not astronomy, mythologically accurate. So, you have a ship? Yeah, but it's Of badass. course. <laughs> Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. What is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Ah, that big ass ship. Okay, that's a more impressive ship. I'm happy about that. And yeah, I could use your help, actually. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship. And the crew. <laughs> you saved my life. It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return. So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that. Come now and see the Adrestia. Though Hellenic culture didn't really have the idea of a life debt in quite that nature. The idea that just because I saved this guy's life, therefore, like, he's gonna, he's gonna accept any unreasonable demand whatsoever. Not really so much of a thing, to be honest, actually. Not, not really. But, you know what? It's fine. It gets me off the island. It keeps the plot moving along. Where's my horse, by the way? Then my horse is standing. Oh, my horse was standing right there. Who'd have thunk it? Right. Excuse me, horse. Let's flip in. Go. We can just we can just have a lovely ride along the beach. This will be absolutely lovely. Ah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out. Screw to you, wolf. I just ride rode into a wolf. That was it's a fine. Claire sign, not a Cassandra sign. Mhm. Mm shout out to Lord Maximus who gave us ten dollars and says, "Hi, John and Claire. I am lucky enough to work from home during the quarantine, so I finally get to watch your streams while working. Thank you for hours of endless entertainment. We do what we can during these trying times, and this game is actually appropriate because, uh, historically, uh, very early on the Peloponnesian War, one of the major events was Athens suffered a major pandemic. Uh, which was, ooh, are you guys, are you guys just having a spa? Or are you guys actually, excuse me, are you guys, is this a problem? Are you guys being dicks? Clusters of more than one message at a time. Shh. John, please. Do you feel like I should intervene in this in any way? I don't know. I'm just going to stay out of this one. Claire. Yes, so shout out to Edward who gave us five euros and says, Fun fact, if you have the same level item in both common and rare rarity, 
The rare one has better DPS and armor. Always go for better rarity. That, that makes sense. I would, I would kind of have assumed that, but it's nice to have it confirmed. Yes, but sometimes you don't leap to logical assumptions. Feel free to take a in any case, shout out to Trekkie135, who gave us £5, and says, Hi, John and Claire, I was supposed to do my A-levels this summer and will start uni soon. Good day uh, any you. advice? I am going to study linguistics and German at York. Uh, I do not know anything about German or York. So no, I'm... but it's about studying, like starting to study, right? Like. It's true, but I... <laughs> I feel very badly qualified to answer that because mm. I, I I didn't, you know, I, I didn't always have the best time at university when I was first there. I was a bit lonely. I was a bit mm. lonely and socially That's isolated true. when I started at university. It took me a while to find myself and find my feet. Uh, I'll go over to this morning style, but actually, it depends I mean, how slow it is. Depends how slow it is. Just give it a swing. I just... Yeah, I'm going to stick with my sword. I don't really know who... I don't really know m much... Much advice either, except for like maybe find like groups or things to do at the university. When yes. I was at uni, I was in the uh, drama club and stuff, and that was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so that really, you know, you, you meet people, and then you meet people like across the years as yeah, well, across awesome. different disciplines. You're not in the same bubble. I think it's quite helpful. I mean, yeah, I'll say the people who I uh, met in that first year at university were so so important to me. Some of them I'm still in contact with, like Janine, who I still email backwards mm, and forwards yeah, yeah, with totally. to this day, even though she's uh, in Seattle these days and I went to visit her when I was trapped in America because that time Iceland exploded the uh, volcano. good old that time good old that time Iceland exploded everyone loves that time let's check for any good daggers uh, that rogue dagger is that's warrior damage which you don't really want I mean I've got a good I've got some good stuff coming up actually no just that, that sword I'm using right now that's hunt damage 75 DPS I could get myself a pair of really good daggers. I'm going to be able to use them in just a second. That's warrior damage as well. There is a decent... I mean, that's a common short sword, but it's not. I mean, the DPS is pretty good for a level 7. I could... I mean, I'm kind of tempted to go for these... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to try these daggers. I'm going to give this a go. Even though I'm going to be able to use it in just a second. I'm going to buy that. I'm just going to see how I feel about daggers. Because daggers... Like, I feel like I prefer the fast weapons. And I've got a better bow already so i've already got a really good bow coming in good day. i'll leave that as it is for the time being right i think we might be about to do some sailing after we sign up with the boatman after which point we'll probably get a good chance for you to get caught up we are ready when you are captain wait phoebe you can't come wait for me cassandra i'm all packed and everything you're coming are you if you're going i'm going you're a child with no appreciable skills Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home? I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. That's cute. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with a fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. And uh, I'm not coming back to Kefalonia. <laughs> I'll never see you again, small child, and I never liked you in the first place. Goodbye! I hope I'll see you again. It's up to the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Cassandra. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. I'd love it if I she was the so. final boss. Phoebe should be the final boss. Boom. Cassandra! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. Oh, let's hug or shake on it. Yeah, hug! All right, come here. Yes, we get hugs. Oh, will I ever miss you, Cassandra? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? 
Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. I guess you'll run into him again later Speaking in another of city. I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Oh, yeah, Phoebe's gonna be trained up as a little baby assassin, just like he did with me. Oh, I will run into her again later. That's cute. I'm looking Ready forward to, to that. Set sail. And, yep, let's go. Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good. The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. All right, I know where Mega is. Obviously, it's on the little isthmus, kind of between uh, Attica and the Peloponnesian down south, close by to Corinth. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Cassandra want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? That was... Wow, you were really open with that information. That was... Really, you were really open with that information there, Cassandra. <laughs> The Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, he'll do no harm. He'll help us. He will lead us! Silence! <laughs> I mean, to be honest, if he threw his son off a cliff and then he wasn't willing to throw his daughter, that would just raise all sorts of unfortunate questions. Like, this is just socially awkward at this point. Once you've killed one child, you've got to be willing to kill both. Otherwise, that's just favouritism. I'm not sure if that cutscene was deliberately stuttery by design or whether that was just, it just stuttered for some reason. I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Alright. Need to go kill my dad. But he did toss me off a cliff, so you know what? Fair enough. Oh, we already just made it to the title screen! Oh, bloody hell! It's the title screen! <laughs> We've been playing for six hours and it's the title screen! Jesus! <sighs> And nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh, what would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. 
I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right, there. Let's get moving. Let's All right. See how the sails have held up. Ooh, rowing. Ah, is it loot? I, I just got some silver boots out of a, an ocean. Then I caught fire. Okay, so we boat, and then we. Let's move. The full cinematic cutscene stuttering is a known bug. There's a way to fix it by messing around with refresh rates and whatnot. Ah. Okay, so I've got a boat, and I can just make it move around. And they're singing sea shanties because there was a thing in Assassin's Creed 4, so we have to do it. So we have to do it again. Mm -hmm. can we speed up again. Speed. That's. That's very fast. For you need more time to accelerate when you've got a big heavy ship and you're being powered primarily by uh, by oarsmen. All right, that's that's a thing. You could lull the silence with those voices, but that's enough for now. And I can tell them to stop singing if I want to. Excellent. Right, while well, we just head over there and I check my equipment, we've just picked up Claire. Yeah, shout out to Sam who uh, gave us fifty pounds and says hi, John, Claire, and Tabby. It's been a while since I've been able to catch a stream. I broke my ribs while playing Quidditch earlier this year. Oof. I hope you're all okay and keeping sane. I know your videos have built, have been helping me do the same. With a little heart. Well, I'm sorry that you were injured in the line of Quidditch. Yes, indeed. Uh, have you ever seen, like, um, have you ever seen Quidditch, like, being played? Like, the adaptations that people have made to, to the game to make it, like, you know... Have you, do you know how it actually works? No, I no. do not. Because it's like... Silver boots, it's yes. It's intense. It looks like it takes a lot of force because you have to do all of it with a fake broom. Mm -hmm. Like, by just holding it. <laughs> it's just, you know. Um, but, yeah. That'll do up to 2,300 assassin damage. That'll do as a standard one right over there. Head for open uh, water! And also to Niche Icon, who gave us $50. And says Cassandra is the unquestionably superior assassin in Odyssey. Hey! Just like, just like Evie is a superior assassin in Syndicate, I don't know how Ubisoft drops the ball so hard on the writing for the male assassin characters in their later games, but they do. Ah, interesting. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, and Mojo gave us five pounds. And says Phobos the horse paid more attention at Assassin's School than you, John. <laughs> Do not buy or upgrade the scrub gear. You replace it so fast. Just sell or scrap then. Honestly, that seems to feel about right from what I'm seeing. Yes. Yes. Uh, shout out to Jonathan. He gave us five pounds and says, Hi, John and Claire. I'm currently trying to fight boredom by doing a trip across uh, the U.S. Uh, after being inspired by your road trip with Dan in the crew. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. So I could double down on poison. The rush assassinate sounds kind of good, but I did want to do yeah. the Sparta kick. The Sparta kick did sound hilarious. So the target won't be killed and... Ooh! The target won't be killed and can be recruited afterwards. Because they'll be so entertained by the fact that you decided to kick them off a cliff. You know, I'm having that. I'm, ha I'm having that. That's that's going to be on B. My big Sparta kick on B. Sounds hilarious. Is there an amount we can donate for John to sing a sea shanty? Shh. It'd be alright if the wind was in our cells. Oh, it'd be alright if the wind was in our cells. Oh, it'd be alright if the wind was in our cells. And I don't know the next lyric. That's a real sea shanty. Do you want me to look up the next lyric? Uh, you can. You can. Uh, and there's something about the horn, which I think means the port. Uh, and then about how they want drinking, how there's lots of yeah, drinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. There's, a lot, there's a lot of talk about ports and drinking, basically. I need to, oh, destroy and, the ship, you say. And we'll all hang on behind. And we'll all hang on behind, yes. That's it. I've heard that before. I've heard it being sung in an Irish pub. It's yeah. very good. Uh, okay, so literally I need to destroy the ship and acquire the shipment, which I think just means ramming speed, because I see them dead ahead. So I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, like, ramming was a real tactic. Uh, there is lots of, um, there's lots of actual, uh, there's lots of actual ramming, uh, in Greek warfare, depending on what, uh, 
uh, you're from. And sometimes it's created really interesting naval engagements. Though obviously because history was in a very low stage there, we don't have very accurate... Um, we don't have much in the way of uh, a good record that's very historically accurate. But we do know that there were instances where navies that were... The tactics were about, I want to ram you, went up against navies that were like, what the hell is going on with ramming? Uh, where they didn't want to ram, uh, which is quite fun. Uh, which is great fun. So, okay, I see him dead ahead. Let's so, in which go. case, activate speed. Uh, actually, you know, wait till we get nice and close. Wait till we get close, then activate boost mode. Because I see him right there. There, she is. there we go. No, don't. I'm not aiming. I ain't aiming. We ain't aiming. All right, maximum speed. Maximum speed. Maximum speed. Toss javelins. Toss javelins. Toss javelins. There we go. And we can brace. Brace! And press to shoot arrow vol arrow arrow vol? Okay, uh, we're not shooting arrow volleys. I think they're just doing it by themselves. Spear them! There we go. Okay, get get around over there. We're definitely being Okay, now we're look going for in for another ram here. Going in for a big ass ram! Big ass ram! Oh, that was the big ass ram right there! Yes! Uh there we go. Okay, so there's the brace. That's to defense. Okay, and anytime you're ready, guys. Anytime you're flipping ready, speed up. Boop them. That's a boop. One more boop in the back, please. And... Ram. Come on, guys. 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 Guys, just fire. Yeah. That'll do the job. Initiate boarding. Now do we have to just board? Hold A to ram. The ship's on fire, too. Oh, my ship's only slightly on fire, for goodness sake. Go. Go. Right, now we just murder. Oh, that's... Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, is anyone else wanting to get involved in this whole boarding action? I think I might have got a bit ahead of myself here. Uh, this is all absolutely fine. Uh, okay, so what we need to do now is activate poison mode. Poison! 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 That will weaken you and cause all sorts of blood for you. And... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> I almost got him off the edge. Okay, you need to go off the edge, my good man. Okay, we need to we need to get you. And yes! <laughs> can he actually swim out? Although uh, this this is the big question right here. Uh, can he actually swim out once he's been pushed in the water? If we put him in the water, I kind of notice they've got a giant ogre creature aboard their thing. Does anyone else want to help with this, by the way? And then stay back. And then go over to you. Finish off the little guys first. Okay, I want him to go in the ocean. I want him to go in the ocean now. I want him to go in the ocean. It's very you important to me. Can kick people off the boat? Yes! Okay, now everybody boarding complete! Yes, that counts! Screw you, you stupid git. Can he actually climb out? I don't know if he actually can. He's under the boat now. He's going to try and climb up. I don't know if he can. Nope! If they're in the water for a certain period of time, they just die. Sweet! Okay, that's fun. That was fun. Right. The boat the boat seems to be slightly going down there. I lost a couple good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. Sorry, that was my bad. I was seriously obsessed with ramming. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little drachmi should sweeten the deal. So you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Not sure that's uh, the sort of person I'm... Uh, I, I don't actually have a, you know, knock unconscious but not kill ability. That ain't a thing I can do. I mean, I saw that that was an option, but I didn't do it. Can I climb up to the top of the mast, by the way? Okay. It, it, yes. Yes, we're going up top. Okay, climb going up top. Climb while, over you as well. I go up top. Yeah, shout out to Alana who gave us five pounds. And says... <laughs> Try that again. Go on. Since I currently have the plague, coronavirus, any recommendations for comfort food, books, movies, TV shows? How are you both and how is Tabby? Oh, Tabby's doing okay. Tabby hasn't realised anything's wrong yet. 
No, Tabby's very good. We're doing good too. I mean, you know, our life hasn't really changed all that much, to be honest, because we're already hermity and working from home. Yes. Uh, but John, do you have do you have any comfort books and TV shows and movies? I I just enjoy reading Terry Pratchett when I'm feeling stressed out. So I I'll I'll just put the old classic Terry Pratchett in there. Yes, indeed. I mean, for me, it's really like you know rereads and things like that, and and comics. Mm-hmm. Uh, comic books and things like cozy reads. Mm-hmm. Should maybe do a. Should maybe, yeah, maybe make a list of cozy reads and things like that uh, to prepare for. You know, next time people has that question. Uh, uh, and speaking of that, yes, uh, Connor gave us five dollars and says, "Hi, John, Clive, and Tabby. Do either of you all have good isolation games?" Uh isolation games like. I guess, like, you know, the highly repetitive ones like Total Wars New Civilizations are probably not a bad call for that sort of thing. Crusader Kings 2, the base game, is free right now, and the DLCs regularly go on sale, uh, which is uh, or probably a very good uh, probably a very good shout mm. in that regard. I mean, I don't know whether, though, where do you want me to go? Like, uh, located on an island in focus, south of the Sacred Lands of Apollo. Like, do you mean Delphi? Do you mean south of Delphi? Uh, Island is known to have a shipwreck. You know what? If we just head in this direction, if we just go in that direction and we just look for an island, because there is an island over here. So if we go here and we find, I mean, that's focus. So if we go there, we're looking for an island. It's south of uh, an island in focus. There's an island there. If we find a shipwreck that's here, then we'll know we're in the right spot. So we'll just head in that direction. And that'll be a okay. We'll just you know see if we run into anything else while we're doing it. Also, I need to safely get down. Claire. Yeah, shout out to Little Horace who gave us a five euros and says, "Happy greetings from Berlin. You two are irreplaceable when trying to ignore the beautiful weather outside my window." Oh. It's been really beautiful and warm here it too. It has, you know. And uh, Corollas gave us five pounds and says, Hello, just sending some money as a thanks for all the entertainment since the start of Skyrim and now enjoying all content by you and John. Oh, thank you. Can you ram sharks, by the way? I no, they just go on to you. Who'd have thought it? Uh, Your Long Shadows gave us uh, 50 Norwegian krona and says, Read Becky Chambers' book series. They're such a comforting read, I promise. Just nestles next to your heart and stays in there. Um... I um, um, I think Ilana has read those. Commander's yeah, I, could, I'm, I mean I'm not a hundred percent, but I think Ilana has read those. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I might actually need to put together a Confit Reads video because I um, like I know I have a million of them, but immediately as you ask them, I can't think of any. <laughs> I will tweet you later. I will talk to you later on Discord, Ilana. I mean, alternatively, there is a tiny island literally right where we are that does appear to have a shipwreck on it. I mean, it's yeah. tiny. But I'm going to go check it out just to see, like, you know, what do you find on little tiny islands? Like, what's there? And is it sharks that are going to eat me? I'm just going to be very... I'm just going to swim fast for the shore. I feel like no one lives on this island. Like, this island does not feel like it would support life. As in, like, you know, ongoing human life. Though, if there is a shipwreck, I'll gladly help myself to some loot off it. But, like, you know, I feel like this isn't the shipwreck. This is just a shipwreck. I feel like nobody lives on this particular this particular island. But I'll help myself to some free stuff if there is any. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to uh, Jake who gave us $5 and uh, wants to know John, uh, out of the NCR, the Legion, uh, House or Independent, uh, what New Vegas faction do you think is best for the Mojave? It's got to be the NCR on balance. I think, I think it has to be the NCR in the long run, even if some people will gripe about it in the short term. Because just in terms of, like, if you consider the state of the NCR as you see it in Fallout 2, you, and you compare it to, you know, the ongoing problems of, you know, the fiends and the crime families that are still very present in New Vegas. You've got to think over, not even the long term, let's say in the short, the short medium-ish term, that the NCR is going to do a lot in terms of uh, helping helping out uh, with the civilization of, of the whole area, which is moving in that direction. I just feel like it's got to be the NCR on balance. Like, a case could be made for the fact House will move technology along yeah. faster, absolutely, but 
whether there'll be any shared benefits to that is questionable. It feels like that's going to potentially turn more into, uh, like, you know, a handful of people get to go to space and everyone else just gets left behind and screwed. I feel like that, that, that's how that's going to potentially uh, end up. Welcome so, back, Commander. nothing on that island. We may as well just head in that direction I mentioned. And just so you know, if there's any little islands on the way, I'll visit them. But we're just heading down the gulf towards uh, where we want to go. Claire, all yours while we're on a little journey here. Increase yeah, speed. I said that to Roy, who gave us two pounds. and said, it's funny how John wants to sneak Quiet and then and just down. does uh, <laughs> Noir Angel gave us fifteen dollars uh, and says, "John and Claire, thank you for all the wonderful content uh, and all of the great content to come." Oh, well, thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, Diogenes gave us two euros for the uh, and says, "Greetings for my favorite featherless bipeds." Oh, excellent. That's that's very accurate. There's I, some debris in the water. That's true. <laughs> and we can just help ourselves to loot if we just see it. Okay, you just point you don't need to get out for that, you just tap it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Bit of a traffic jam ahead, but we should be able to just if I just stay not too fast, should be able to work around that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, DB Explorer gave us twenty dollars and says I haven't played one of these games since the first one. But this makes me want to try it. I'm a sucker for open world games. Also, Greece is cool. I just read a book on the Bronze Age collapse. Oh, sweet. Big, a big ass mystery. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Daniel be crawling with pirates. Pounds, uh, and says, I can't find any of this no! in my. I should send Icaros up to get the lay of the land. Candy. He'll spot my target. How do you say that word? Huh? Right here. How do you say that? Greece? That, oh, that. Thucydides. 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 Yes, I can't find any of this in my That's Thucydides. My what page are we on? I've got the 1954 translation with revisions. Is the class using a different edition? Thucydides is great. It, it, Thucydides. It's just Thuc such a fun word to say. Like to say noob. wrong. You absolute noob. Uh, Thucydides is... I find Thucydides a bit dry. To be perfectly honest, like it's nice because it's the first bit of proper history that's going. And uh, fun, kind of a little historical fact. Part of the reason why Thucydides did like a fairly competent job reporting on a war, because wars, you know, have multiple sides to them, um, is he was basically exiled. I'm not sure whether he was formally ostracized, but he was definitely fired by Athens. Uh, at one point, and as a result of that, he went over to the Spartan side. So he spoke to he spoke to Athenians and Spartans, which is why he was able to put together a relatively uh, even-handed, like, account that kind of, you know, was able to uh, speak to... Uh, was kind of, like, you know, able to contain details of both sides, which is really cool. Uh, which Alcibiades might have been able to do had he actually, you know, been interested in that sort of thing, which he wasn't, because he was too busy having sex with everyone and betraying them. Uh, you know, if you've got to focus on what you're good at. Uh, okay, it looks to me like we want to actually bring the ship into that, uh, that little deck over there. I'm not seeing anything else, so I'm just going to bring the ship in nice and quiet-like over to the, the, de on the dock on the far side. Clap. Well, we just bring the boat in. Yeah, Rad Radish Radiator gave us 200 Swedish krona and says, Leveled equipment, John, leveled equipment. I'm using equipment that's, like, the same level as me. I'm definitely doing fine there. Uh, mild, fer go. Mildly Feral Ghoul, which is an excellent username. A mildly Feral Ghoul gave us $20 and says, Love you all with a little black heart. Aww. Uh, Star Wars' Josh Smith gave us $10 and says, Oh my god! I finally caught a stream and all I needed to do was to take a break from uh, 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 Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh, excellent. Excellent, indeed. I don't know whether that's a new series or whether that's the new game. I know there's been a game well, look, recently. I, I just, I didn't even, you know, normally whenever somebody puts in an acronym, I look it up even if I think I know what it is, just to make sure that I've got the right thing. But it didn't even occur to me to look up DBZ until I, I was actually saying it. And I was like, well, I hope it's not a different thing. Mm -hmm. It has to be that. Anyway, shout out to Mackie who gave us $20. And says, thanks for keeping me company while I draw. I'm a little sad because my dogs, Fish and Daisy, can't be with me for several days. 
while my backyard deck is getting torn up and the stream is keeping me from being lonely. Oh, good. I am glad to hear it. Uh, yes, and uh, other another sad dog thing oh. is that we got a message from Sarah um, who uh, gave us $2 and put in uh, pictures of the puppies on Twitter. She says the puppies are sad because they don't understand social distancing and why people I can't walk be petting them on walks. <gasps> to look at the sad puppy. Um, uh, I need to take you out before. Uh, I really hope no one else saw uh, that. Did anyone else hear that? I think anyone else heard that. Nothing was good. Oh, that is a sad puppy. Yeah, okay. I just realized that I was using the phrase, uh, the phrase that I was using, and I'm going to stop saying that. Uh, in any case, uh, shout out to Dan, who gave us $10 and says, Congrats, Claire, you need to start correcting John when he says your name to include your new title. That's adorable. John should use heavy weapons because he kills them. The kills with him are oh, hilarious. I just want to say to everybody that John has actually been incredibly sweet. Uh, and, and, you know, whenever we watch, like, MasterChef and I'm, like, complaining about something they're doing, he'll be like, Come on, Claire, you're not an award finalist in Master Chefing or whatever. Like, he just brings it up at random. Coldest of light. Uh, which is just lovely. And Travis gave us five, uh, five dollars and says, Congrats, Claire, on your Hugo nomination. How have your family reacted? Have not, you told them yet? I've not actually Skyped them properly since, like, I got... No, the thing is, you get an email a couple of... You know, you get an email to let you know that you're nominated and to ask you if you want to accept the nomination and stuff and mm -hmm. to give you, like, details. You should have just said, nah. Nah, I'm good. No. I'm good, actually. No, absolutely not. Nah. I would never. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, you know, you get that email and then after that, it's maybe, like, a week and a half or two weeks until there's the announcement and you're, like, have to sit on it for that long and not tell anybody. And it's just, like, you know... I don't know, I just didn't feel like... It was weird because like my parents are obviously not in fandom and I just wanted to celebrate with fandom first and maybe that's silly. But my parents are aware of the Hugos because, you know, my dad used to read a lot of sci-fi when he was younger and my mom still reads plenty of SFF. Mm -hmm. So like they are, they understand that it's a big deal, you know? They know what it means when they see it on a book. I just want to draw attention to the fact that we literally docked to this island to subtly try and take down a bunch of pirates and kidnap this guy without him knowing. And um, the guys are just there in the boat, literally loudly singing sea shanties on this deck to this tiny island. We're supposed to be stealthing our way up to people. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to knock him. Out. I don't actually know how to knock him out. So I really hope this is about to trigger a cutscene where I knock him unconscious. I don't actually know how to. There we go. Recruiting lieutenants. Recruit people in the world to make them lieutenants on your ship. Use the knockout damage and abilities to pacify an enemy before asking him to draw. Oh, Sparta Kick! Okay. So that's good. Uh, is he is he dead now? Is he is is he dead? I'm gonna carry him back onto the ship. We're just gonna this this is how you make friends, all right? If you if you ever like if you're socially awkward or whatever, this is how you make friends. You knock them unconscious and then you bring them onto your boat, and then um. Does anyone know how to get him onto the boat now? Because I feel like I'm really worried he's about to ro drop into the water because we don't have a gangplank or anything. Um, can I can I make the? If I just toss him over, do you think this is gonna go wrong? You did um, say he drowned, right? Somebody catch him! Wait, do you want him to be dead? I pay Drachmi. Oh, hang on, no, we just woke him up. Is, is he okay now? There was a tongue to recruit him, apparently. Okay, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. We got it now. We're under control. Okay, is he is he on the boat now? Okay, so now we've got a ship menu. I bet he was really cool about the fact I just knocked him unconscious. <laughs> he was, I was I was planning to Spartan oh kick him. That's amazing. I like that some people are like, no, don't, John, don't do it. Don't toss him at the boat, John. Don't toss him at the boat. Uh, so hire and assign lieutenants to your ship to gain multiple benefits. Once assigned lieutenants will also join your boarding party. Uh, when away from the address to you, call him to fight with the call to arms button. Okay, so he's an, uh, is he an archer? Is he over? Ah, no, ship lieutenants over here. So you are my ship lieutenant, meaning my arrows do more damage. 
So I'm going to hire you for 100. So we've paid him money. And my hull isn't upgraded, so I can't have more than one lieutenant. Fine, so it's just an upgrade system. Same as anything else. So I can... Aim and then fire with LT and RT. So that's how you do the arrows. I saw that you can brace as well. And training javelin flowers makes them faster. So, okay. I might be able to upgrade that as time goes by. Do you need a lot of wood to do that, by the way? Okay, fair enough. And fire. So, LT and RB shoot fire arrows. Okay, that's pretty damn badass. Uh, so, yeah. That's, yeah. Javelins on uh, RT. Uh, flamey javelins on, on LB. Okay, that's uh, that's absolutely fine. Then we got javelins, we got the ram. The ram is hilarious. Obviously, we want to do the ram. So I want to upgrade that as fast as possible. Uh, and then we got the hull, which needs to be upgraded if I want to have more lieutenants, but I don't need that right now. Stamina bonus, chroma. Okay, I see what's going on here. Do I get any new stuff from that island, by the way? No, just some new loot. Ah, and a new helmet, of course. I did pick up a new helmet, but I'm guessing... The Brawler Helmet should clearly boost warrior damage. Because it's called the Brawler Helmet. What are you even doing, Gabe? What, 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 who makes these decisions? Didn't somebody say earlier in chat that, like, the name of the item doesn't necessarily make sense with the skill that it boosts because you can, like, change around what it does boost or not mm -hmm. with those, like, like, what you write on it? Yes, pretty much. Okay, so we just need to now have a chat with Watts' face because we've now got a friend on board. I got him. Good. He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. All right, so now we're going on a bit of a... Ooh. But we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. I'm a daring captain. Let nobody say I'm not a daring captain. Also, you just gave me a sword uh, for some reason, which I'm, um, which was marked as rare. So that's, uh, these are 92 DPS. That's warrior damage and more damage against Athenians specifically. Uh, you know what? I'm happy to go up to a higher DPS sword. I'm okay with that, 100% with that. In which case, I'll definitely get rid of this uh, just for materials. That's a-okay. Uh, speaking of which, how is my arrow numbers? Oh, my arrows are fine, so I don't use it that often. Uh, okay, that all works for me in that case. And we're at level 7. Everything is kind of... Everything's pretty good. Right, uh, we got pirates or something on here. So a dangerous path, level 10. Respectable woman seeking aid. Drachma, if you can help me. A bounty on merchant ships, and okay, interesting. So, attacking merchant ships seems a little bit evil in some ways. Recommended level five feels a bit low. Kill, oh, kill Spartans. Only level five. Blimey. Okay. Uh, our land is infected by the red plague. Blimey, heck. I mean, that gets money at the bare minimum. I mean, I'm willing to accept a bounty. What does this mean exactly? Okay, we've now got 24 hours to do whatever that is. So these appear to be generated, like, arbitrarily. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what does this look? Because that gets me money. That gets me money. So destroy the merchant ships. Zero out of five? Okay, we might do one. I might do one. Do we know where they are? On, like, the map or whatever. Go over to the map here. The address star. Okay, destroy the merchant ships. How am I supposed to know where the merchant ships are? So there's an undiscovered location in the middle of the sea. Okay, we might well completely ignore that because I don't know where the merchant ships are and I have no information that would allow me to to find them, aside from the fact they're merchant ships. Okay, we'll go back to Megaris. We know where Megaris is because, yes, there it is. There's Megara, uh, right between Athens and Corinth, um, which is hilariously one of the primary sources for Megara in the war the wars of this period, is Aristophanes. Um, in the play The Acarnians, um, Dikaiapolis, uh, which translates as, like, just city or just citizen, declares independence from Athens and sets up his own city-state that's just his house. Um, and he, <laughs> nice. And um, the, the joke, part of the joke is, because Athens was at war with everyone around it, all of the people from those territories weren't allowed to trade in Athens anymore. They weren't allowed in the markets. But because he was at peace with everybody, therefore he invites... A Megaram to come and trade with him. Um, and it, it, it all sounds very cute. Then it starts getting really dark. 
Uh, but it was hilarious if you're an Athenian. Uh, because the Megaron, um, his children are starving. Um, so he disguises his children as, as his two daughters. Um, who we understand from the, from the text appear to be just pubescent. Um, and he tries to sell them to Dikaiapolis as pigs. Um, and then various, because uh, if you were to translate the jokes with porking jokes in modern, it would work. It's, it's, it gets dark. A jokes in quotes. A ancient humor was sometimes quite dark. Well, it's, it's not just that it's really kind of, you know, gross humor, which it is, because it's ancient humor. Uh, but it's also the fact this is literally a guy who's trying to sell his daughters out of starvation because of a war of that was being waged by the city in which the the comedy so was being So it's funny cuz it's punching down at women, children and poor people. And and the 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 country next door that you're starving to death. Yes. Oh, all, and also all of the all of the above at the same time. It's that's one of the and hilariously we know very little about Megara, but one of the things we do know is we know like the joke regional accents the Athenians applied to Megarans when they were writing comedy because he's given a stupid accent. And that's it's, it's, well, yes. It was it was a dark moment in in oh, Aristophanes is generally very lighthearted, but there are some dark moments floating around in there. Some very dark moments. I'm gonna go check out what that thing is in the middle of the sea, because it might be a shipwreck. It's a shipwreck, I wanna go see it. Hey, do you wanna see a pile of puppies? I, I really wanna see a pile of puppies, yes. This is Nala, Mara, and Gus, and I've put them in the chat for everybody. They don't look that puppyish. The one in the back doesn't look but like a puppy. But they're all puppies, John. They're good doggos. I'm not saying they're not good doggos, I'm just saying they look a little bit older than puppies. Speed up! Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, but the thing is, pile of puppies is alliterative. Ah, I see. Why, I think. Person for pulling it to pull and there are also Hang on tight! Alright, speed up, people. Cowboys, speed up. Right. Kittens incoming, folks. Go! Location Poseidon's Fury. Okay. Well, we're still moving towards it, whatever it is. And okay, now we're moving away from it. Stop, 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 stop. I'm guessing we're on top of something. I feel like we're on top of something right now. I really hope there's not sharks, by the way. Because we're, go we're going down. Uh, that's, that's a manta ray. That's fine. Uh, that's a shark! Hey, Mr. Shark. Hello, Mr. Shark. Uh, I'm about to be attacked by... Oh, there's so many sharks. And then there's jellyfish. And then there's... This is really deep. I feel like this is too deep, actually. This is this is too deep for this nonsense. And there's definitely... Ow! <laughs> there's, there's sharks. Luckily, your health regens pretty fast. Okay, I see, I see the ball. I see the ball statue. Okay, get up. Get up towards some oxygen. I need to, I need to verify where the thing I'm after is. Yeah, there's my health. Luckily, sharks don't do that much. Okay, how am I supposed to find this treasure? If I stare down, can I locate it? Because if I can ID it, then that would be of use. Because I see, aha! Got it. Now I've got it ID'd. Okay, that should help me find it. And dive! We're going for it. Okay, and down. There we go. Okay. Now stay away from the sharks. And it's over there. And yep, the shark's coming for me. Uh, I see something. Aha, I see something. Loot. And that gets me traveler's garments. And I hear the flicky noise that's... <laughs> sharks. Not sharks as it turns out are struggling to, to get on top of me here. We got what we wanted. We got the thing that we wanted. Now we need to GTFO in a hurry. We just swim up. The sharks hopefully won't follow. We just keep changing direction. I would have thought sharks were more agile hunters under the waves, but they seem to like struggle to, to navigate. They've got quite bad pathing. <laughs> They've got fairly bad pathing, all things considered. Well, that thing was level 7, so whatever it is, I can use it straight away. And it is warrior damage and crit damage versus assassin damage and warrior damage, but it's a lot better in terms of armor. How does it look on me? Oh, no. I'm not convinced by that. Mm, the harness. 
Yeah. Well, it, and the fact it just... So, yeah, I have to say, the harness is cool, but the shirt isn't. No, we're, go we're going back over to the vastly inferior armor because it's got assassin damage and it looks better. This yeah. is highly, this is highly important. Okay, but do you know you can put that thing on and then, are you still only level seven? Uh, yes, yes, I'm level yes, seven, yes. Well, just wait a bit and you'll be able to equip the better thing, but looking like the worst thing. True, 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 true. Also, did someone just say, oh, there's way more treasure in Poseidon's Fury. There's like three of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. My bird can help me track it down. There's one. And then one more over in this direction. Uh, spin her around. And it's somewhere around over. It might be directly underneath me, so I can't see it right now. Spin her uh, around. What's your favourite Aristophanes play? <sighs> Probably Lysistrata. Mm. Lysistrata is very fun. Lysistrata. I think Lysistrata is still very funny. Uh, today, Lysistrata works really well. Uh, which is, that's the sex strike one. The famous sex strike yes. one. Uh, I like that one. Which a lot of people uh, know very well. It's one of the two, like, uh, that are very uh, women plays. The other one being uh, Phasmophoria Zootsy. Uh, or the women of the Phasmophoria. Uh, which, which is, it also is a fun word to say. Because yes. it's Phesmophoria Zutsi, which is a great word to say. That's just... I can't, I don't recall if it's Lysistrata, but I know that I studied one of them in like drama in, in school. I'm actually quite like... surprised by that. Oh, but I was doing drama club though. So yeah, but that's, like you know, class. ancient stuff is not the most commonly staged. Yeah. Aristophanes is almost never staged. It wasn't staged, we just looked at a passage of it and studied it a little bit. I... I'm fairly sure that the French literature teacher who was doing the drama class was also the person who you had for classics if you did, like, you know, Greek or Latin. But I never took Greek or Latin, so I didn't... But I'm pretty sure she was, like, you know, teaching the electives as well. Ah. She wanted to do them. Anyway, um... There we go. Now we've finished Poseidon's Fury properly. I was just very impressed with Aristophanes that it was like, politics, 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 and then a joke about... Uh, Sex and somebody's penises. Somebody's poop coming out in ropes. Yes. Very There's a lot of poop jokes. Poop coming out in ropes joke. Well, this is not specifically a poop rope joke. What that is, is a quality of pooping joke. Um, mm -hmm. There are a lot of quality of pooping jokes in Aristophanes. And the reason is, of course, back in those days, because diets were yeah, a, yeah. Lot in, a lot inferior. And also because very few people had private toilets. Toilets were a public matter. Oh, if a politician had a particular dietary problem, had particularly, you know, smelly or otherwise unusual shit, it was a matter of public knowledge. People, if you, if you're, if a general who was about to go off to war had weird shitting habits, it was known. And as a result of that, it was fair game to comment upon. And on top of that, if someone had dietary problems or was suffering from diarrhea, this was known as well. And thus it was completely legit to throw it at them during political comedies. Like, just, just imagine that. If you lived in, like, because bear in mind, these societies are small societies. This is Athens is maybe 100,000 people maximum. And London is what, 9 million? Mm -hmm. Imagine, like, okay, look up look up a list of English ta Okay, look up English ta cities by population. And find me, like, the sort of cities we're talking about with 100,000 people. And do it for the US, too. Okay, um, okay, I'm doing it. So I'm that we can give it. people an idea it. for the scale of the cities we're talking about. Because we ain't talking about big societies, all things considered. Okay, okay. Well, it takes a second. Just, mm -hmm. just a minute. Also, we just picked up a figurehead, so I'm assuming that means I can put it on Did this show. you say 100,000? Yeah, about 100,000, yes. What we think. <gasps> massive eagle ass thing. Sweet. Now we can ram people with a massive ass eagle. Approve of that. That's that's pretty badass. Liking that. Uh, but yes, if you think about it, like, just imagine if, like... 100,000. 100,000, yeah. 100, 000, yeah. Chesterfield in Derbyshire. Chesterfield in Derbyshire. Yeah, that's the level to okay, do, do go for the US too. Let's yeah, yeah, I'm, see I'm stuff looking, for the I'm US. Looking, I'm yeah. looking, I'm looking. 2018 census in the US. 2018 estimate. Yeah. Uh Vacaville in California. Kenosha in Wisconsin. San Angelo, Texas. Yeah. These are you know, probably San Angelo. People Texas, don't think of know. Athens as being small, but this is the level of size we're talking about. Just imagine if Woodbridge, New Jersey. Just imagine if like you went to your regular shitting in spot. In fact, 
South Bend, Indiana. There was just a chance. It's 100,000 people. If there was just a chance when you were just going to your local shitting spot that you might just run in, you might be sitting on the shitting spot next to Boris Johnson and Jacob Rees Mogg. Oh, Jesus Christ, don't put images like that in my head. And you, and therefore you, and therefore you know what their shitting habits are. Ew. Just that's, that's where you could be. That's why I'm gonna keep these kids. Yeah, somebody said Cambridge, but Cambridge is a hundred and fifteen thousand. Yeah. But yeah, Chesterfield. Uh, oh, that's pretty good. This Chalcidian helmet is actually twenty-eight, and it looks pretty Wilkins? badass. That's fact, crit chance, but it's a little bit more armor. You know, I'll, I'll keep that for now. But we might at some point be willing to go over to that helmet because that's pretty badass. I'll get rid of the brawler helmet. Though. I'll just break that down for some parts. I don't want. Oh, that. I'm sorry. I said Wisconsin wrong. Apparently, I'm sorry. Oh dear. Dear, oh, tut, tut, tut. But, like, this is... I'm sorry, do you want to try saying it? If you're wondering, if you're tongue, wondering like, why... Like, Arkansas? Yeah, and if... Th so, literally, when you see, like, shit comes out like a rope, then, like, Ew. this person was literally, therefore, publicly known and was being publicly shamed for the fact that they had a diet that meant they became constipated and then occasionally went to the local shitting hole and had a really massive, long, ropey shit. And, like, <laughs> just imagine if you do, like, if you were a public figure, after you were there, you might literally see local poets and playwrights looking over to you to check how your shitting was going. <laughs> because they knew that that was gold oh in God. the Lanoia that's coming up in three months' time. <laughs> this was a, this was a fact of Athenian life. That, that pl poets and playwrights would show an interest, and it was deemed a matter of public interest, worthy of reporting on what the shitting habits of generals and politicians were. What an age to be on. It's been all backwards since then. It's gonna be it's all... See, I told you you were gonna learn something. I told you you were gonna learn something. Shout out to some other guy, part two electric boogaloo, who just gave us five dollars and says, I came out a weird time. I'll be back when there's less talking about poo. Oh, I'm so sorry, but that... It, 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 there's, there's never not talking about poo. I... I do think it's a great leveler of humankind yes. that across the ages there are some that. things we will always find funny. Yes. Like poo or cocks. Dicks. Yeah, cocks. Cocks are funny. Yeah. <laughs> Is this going to be on the I test, John? <laughs> this will all be on the test. The poo will be on the test. <laughs> God. Sadly, this is there's not much there's not much historical. The sadly, there's very little historical uh, stuff we could. What's a whole new meaning on the word shit posting. Uh... What's a whole new meaning on shitting on someone? <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. Good job, all of you who are saying these things. Thank well you done. for your shitty facts, John. Oh, there's oh, some loot. We'll just go. grab that. Right, I'm just going to investigate this little island over here. Then we'll head on to Megara. So, Clay, you've got a chance to catch up here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry, uh, that is just gold. Shout out to Solid Gold CEO who gave us five pounds and says I started doing a horror story in Braille. Someone's gonna die. I can feel it. Oh! That's, that's how you read Braille. Ready, anyway, Rad Radish Radiator gave us uh, 500 Swedish Krona and wants to know, John, if you're ready to stop the stream at any point just in, ca just in case you get lucky no, and you win all your deaths, uh, do you have hedgehogs? Uh, no, I do not. Actually, I think I probably do have a hedgehog. Tan, hang on. Do you have a, I, okay, what I need to do is I need to I need to do this, and then I need to do this. There we go. I've got some hedgehogs. It's not the easiest thing to access, but I do have hedgehogs. Anyway, uh, shout out to DIY Town, who gave us two euros, and says, how about a useless Steve run for Fallout 3? Uh, useless Steve. Well, useless Steve is returning this very next week uh, in Old World Blues, as I've discussed. Uh, so that will be first. I feel like I might bring you to Steve back for Fallout 3 in the event that, um, say, we had uh, a Fallout 3 remake of some description. I feel like that would be a good opportunity for me to... Oh, my massive eagle thing. My massive-ass eagle thing. Okay. So I'm at, a, I'm at the sunken temple of Demeter right now. So let's just check that. So that's here. One treasure. And it's actually located over there. Uh, is actually what I'm looking for. So, give me information. That's a shark. There it is. Alright, got it. It's not where I thought it was, so that's absolutely fine. Sharks do not seem that dangerous in this game. They seem almost weirdly not dangerous, actually. So, we're just going to go uh, down. 
This is marked as a red area because a shark might eat me. But that's fine. The sharks don't seem too bad, all things considered. And yeah, if you swim slowly, your oxygen goes down really slowly. If you do boosts or you change uh, altitude. Is altitude the right depth? That's probably a better word. Yes. Uh, then uh, it goes down faster. Uh, so now we can just swim straight back up to the surface. If sharks come for me, I'm just going to go up and then forward a bit and then up and forward a bit. And it seems to like throw them off. Because sharks can't hunt. Anyway, a shout out, uh, shout out to Estelle, who gave us two dollars and says I came at the perfect time. More talk about poo. Poo. Look, I'm glad that you, I'm glad we had the opportunity to have a good proper okay. rant about I have, something. I have a, a question uh, that it might also be. lead to a rant and certainly info about uh, Sweet. ancient things, but possibly a less poo. Uh, I apologize. Poo. Uh, joke. Joke. Gave us five euros and wants to know how did those accents in the place survive through history? Also, will AC history tour come back or will you just do this instead? Um, it was quite simply because it was written phonetically. Um, basically, what happens is um, the the way that accents are written in the text is pretty much exactly what you'd expect it to be, which is it's written it's written as if other characters when they come on stage. They quiet the lot of you. Um, all of you, them. Leave the command. Leave the command. Leave the command. Um, it's written in like Athenian, like Attic Greek, mm -hmm. but it's written phonetically as in order to try and replicate a perceived accent. So, like, you mean the whole play is like that, or just the bit? Just the Megar in character. So, like, like Hagrid at the beginning of Harry. Potter, Precisely. The first one, yes. Yeah? Exactly. It's written You're like. You're a wizard, Harry. It's it's written something like that, yeah. yeah. Where like you know you might like you know if you, if you were to write someone who was like lo losing off the you just write like Ari where you just put like apostrophe yeah, yeah. A. It would be written something like that. Whereas it was Athenian script, but it's written uh, but it's like it's written with some slight phonetic adjustments that give us the idea of how people talked. And a representative of the Persian king shows up uh, to the great king. Uh, and he kind of speaks in uh, in a weird act. It's very difficult to translate because, like, it's really difficult to kill the clan chief. I feel like I probably shouldn't be here. I feel like I really shouldn't be here, actually. Uh, how <laughs> how dangerous are these individuals? Just so I know. The ones with the little skulls, by the The one with the the red skulls, yes, the bright red skulls. Uh, shout out to Jessica in the chat who says, "Not much fun to be interrupted when you're trying to talk, is it, John?" <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> shout out to uh, Carolis who gave us ten pounds and says hello. Uh, oh dear, hello from NI. I don't know what state that is. Mm -hmm. Oops. Hello from NI, John and Claire. Uh, wait. No, it's not a state. It's Northern Ireland because it's pounds, woman. NI, yes, Northern Ireland. Yeah, but I was thinking about states because we were talking about Wisconsin before and stuff. I see. And I said it even wronger. Anyway, I'm sorry, that was <laughs> terrible. Now that I'm British, it's super offensive that I didn't get that right. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Carolus who gave us £10 and says, Hello from Northern Ireland, John and Claire. I was wondering if you'll be looking at Saints Rose Remastered. Love watching your videos and streams while doing my courses for uh, Mechatronics Engineering Online. I, I'm going to be honest. That's so cool. I watched the trailer for the new Saints Row 3 Remastered, like, as soon as I heard about it. And my immediate reaction on watching, like, the, the side-by-sides is, well, that's... They've certainly made that slightly more orange. The lighting's orange now. That's oh, that. So is it a situation like with Wasteland? No, because where... I'll take any excuse to play a bit more Saints Row Three. But I will say I think the 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 visual updates uh, basically uh, boil down to uh, we did a new vis we've we've made a change to lighting engine, so now everything's orange like all the time. I'm gonna try and steal something from these guys because at the bare minimum I can oh, get. Not a good idea to stay here. Shut up! I'm fine. I know they're being marked in such angry red that the game doesn't even give me a, a, a level. But I can steal something. It's, like, it's one of these riddles. There's a riddle uh, here. Yeah, the map shows what level <clears throat> each region is. This area is way above your level, so even the lowest grunt will be able to one-shot you. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, the theatre in Patry brings the seas to the people, showcasing one of the region's most prized boats. Find me taking a bow, as in 
bow, the bow of the boat. Okay, theatre in Patroi. Alright, I'm on a, I'm on a soul. Okay, we're going into high level areas right now. Screw you. Uh, where do we know where Patra is? So this is uh, Poseidon's Wrath. Uh, do I see anything that looks like a... There's an undiscovered location over there. That is... That's a battleground of Ikea. Definitely do not... Do not try and take that over. Mm -hmm. I need a theatre. This is obviously a temple. I'm not seeing anything that looks immediately like a theatre. And I don't know about Pat Dry off the top of my head uh, in terms of its location relative to everything else on the rest of this map. Um, people are saying the level was right there. It was 42. You just didn't see it. Ah, 42 and to 46. Right, I mean, I guess it means between 42 and 46. Well, yeah. that's fine. Just because they're 40 levels higher than me doesn't mean I can't be here. That's a-okay. I mean, you, you can be here if you're very quiet. I'm going to go. I'm gonna you can be like... Uh, I'm going to steal their shit. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm, I'll be in my room making no noise, pretending I don't exist. I am going to steal their shit, and they can't stop me. Anyway, shout out to Mark, who gave us $5 and said, If you don't like the look of your gear, you can change its appearance by keeping this, while keeping the same stats. Which, yeah, has been noted a few times. It's just that we're not level 8 yet. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get to that at some point. I mean, hopefully we're just... I mean, we're going to die now, because they're going to kill us, but... What I need to do is I need to distract them. I need to get in, then I need to drop down, get that treasure, and then get out. I just need something that's going to make some noise. Like, if I, if I just put an arrow over here, does that draw their attention? No, I need to, like, break something. I need them to turn away. Is there anything I can break? Like, say... Okay, if I shoot her in the head, it literally does no damage. Um, it would do zero damage. It would do zero. Uh, oh, I just actually 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 act, 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 There we go. That's that's fine. I don't need that. Um, yeah, I literally can't hurt them, but I might be able to. I might be able to get in, loot the chest. Okay, I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna run. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Okay. There was there was less. There was less than I expected. All we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna loot the chest. Then we're gonna hop out and we're gonna run for the boat. We're gonna get this. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. Okay. They're gonna be right there. Go, 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 Loot, 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 loot. Loot. Go. Out. And then, no, no. Oh, oh. Go, 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 get out of the cocking. If we just got out of the thing. Shout out to, um, JJ, who says the distraction will be you dying, John. We would have got out if I'd have just jumped through the cocking hole. Cassandra! I don't know if there's an autosave, by the way. I haven't actually saved. <laughs> shout out to Soul Mischief, who gave us five pounds and says, Can my other half, Jenny, get a shout out from John? Uh, he, uh, he's been playing one of her favourite games and she loves his Fallout runs. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Jenny. Where are we right now? Okay, we can do this. I'm going to make this happen. Luckily, there was an autosave right well, here. Well, whilst you make this happen, shout out to General Moron, who gave us $20. And says, any interest in Europa Universalis? Or is the Renaissance a time period you're not as interested in? Uh, absolutely, I will do it at some point. But with Crusader Kings 3 coming up this year, we'll, yeah. we will be doing that first uh, in terms of uh, everything else. In terms of, like, uh, the games of Paradox. Yeah, and uh, shout out also to Grey Morality, who gave us $5. And says, since I'm missing out on cosplay conventions... I am making a Plague Doctor outfit. I can go to the store. Go! We got it! Go! Go! Run! Run! Flipping run! I've got a level 44 mace I can't use for anything! Get over the wall! Go! Get the flip out of dodge! So long, losers! I got your mace! Ha <laughs> ha! Shout out to Grey Morality who says since I'm missing out on cosplay conventions, I'm making a Plague Doctor outfit to go to the store in. That sounds pretty badass. I know, I told them that like a while ago, but you know. Mm -hmm. Swim, 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 swim. Yeah, but I don't need the tablet because I can't, I don't know where the, the, the thing is. I don't know where the, 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 the I don't know where the Pat Try thing is, so we don't need that. It's a okay. Swim, 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 swim. Actually, unless it's, you're right. Unless that, I, the, it's it's just the it's the town around the coast. I might nip back there momentarily. 
Yeah, you know what? That's absolutely fine. I'm going to go grab that. I am going to go grab that because I might be able to actually... Uh, I might be able to get some use out of that. Uh, just in case Pat tries just that town just around the coast. So I might not there because presumably towns are friendly places. Like, because we've been, we've been into towns before and they've always been friendly. So actually, hang on. Claire. Mm -hmm. I might accident. I might be about to be the biggest damn hero who ever lived. Uh, maybe a genius at Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Can I drop a save right now, by the way? Because I feel like this is about to go horribly wrong. Uh, I'm going to drop a save. I'm going to drop a save right now. This is absolutely fine. Because, 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 they've now scattered to look for me. They've now scattered to look for me. And guess who they've left inside their temple unguarded? A prisoner. Oh, good. I'm going to rescue her. I'm going to rescue a prisoner from level 42 bandits. I'm not helping you out, by the way. You're going to have to find your own damn way out. Like, you're probably about to die. I am forever grateful. He has, he's going to die in, like, 10 seconds. I hope he makes it to the road. Come on. Actually, they're, they're facing away right now. He might even make it. He might actually make it. I made it. I rescued him. He actually got away! Oh, This is lovely! And I think you just ignored the portion of the question earlier that was about uh, Assassin's Creed History Tour. Um, but the thing is, History Tour, the video, was kind of difficult to put together. It because was. Really it was. includes a lot of, you know, because if John is trying to state factual things, yes. instead of just making jokes, then there's just a lot more that... It's very difficult you know, to edit. But you need to, like, edit, you know, I want to be making sure I'm saying things that are true, for example. Yeah, and so he'll sometimes repeat something like two or three times, and there's just a lot more finagling sentences together and make sure it goes with what's on screen and all of that. I think you'll so be that, lucky if it's only two. <laughs> so that video was a big editing job for me, like much, much bigger. We just, we just say flubby. Between me and John. We flubby just, is the we word, say, yes. Oh, this one isn't too flubby. This one is gappy. Oh, no, this one is quite flubby and it's a bit dense, whatever. You know, we just to have an idea of how long something is going to take to do. Yeah. To make sure that we can do everything in time. But that one was so, so, so flubby. It took, like, probably Ages. an entire day to edit. Yeah, it was really slow. And it didn't, and like... it didn't even do that well, so... It got, like, a, no a perfectly normal amount of views, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of people who are very passionate about John doing more history stuff who yes. ask for it a lot, but it just doesn't seem to be, you know, something yeah. that way, 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 way more people want yeah. than normal stuff. There's a massive shark doing a really big jump a second ago, but it doesn't seem to be trying was to eat me. Was it a shark me. or was it a dolphin? Because sharks don't jump, jump and dolphins do. I, yeah, but I think it was being a drama shark. This game is not known for its... Like, this game is not known for its historical accuracy. So I think hoping for shark accuracy might be a bit optimistic. Uh, so I'm just going to go around the corner to the town now. Because the town might be Pat Tri. Or possibly, if that looks like a theatre... We'll go there. Uh, yeah, she gave us $2 and says Archibides might be in this game. Wink, wink. I'm sure he is. It would be almost surprising if he wasn't under um, the circumstances. No. Anyway, uh, da, 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 uh, that is, yeah, so that's why we're doing it as a stream rather than making yes. more videos. Do you think we can fit between those two rocks? Stop! I bet we can. Uh, we, we probably shouldn't be able to, but I think we can. I mean, if it's Watch shallow, speed. we're screwed. Everybody through the really narrow Thank bit. No, nope, you literally aren't. If you're not even allowed to crash your boat. Well, that's just that's just disappointing. Round the outside we go then, like a bunch of plebs. Claire, it'll take us a little bit of time to do. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, shout out to Adelaide, who gave us a pound. And to forever... Let's move it! Five pounds. Hi, John. Would you ever play Late Shift? It's available on sale from Steam for a fiver or a tenner on Xbox and PlayStation. I don't know much about it, to be honest. Mm. I think the name rings a bell, but I don't know much about it other than that. I'm going to just uh, keep a note of it for later and we can investigate. Uh, shout out also to Xena Warrior Princess, who gave us $20. Uh, and says, hey, John and Claire, I keep losing track of what day it is, but I remember today was a live stream day. Hey! Between you and Animal Crossing, I've been able to stay sane, so thank you. Love your faces and appreciate your content. Speaking of which, Animal Crossing this next Saturday. Woo! Very exciting. 
Yes, indeed. Uh, Knickknacks gave us five dollars. Uh, and says, Come on! To, to the cult members ASAP. You get good gears for free, as well as various ways to get clues, but they are in mystery locations. Ooh, okay. I Interesting. Mean, mm, now, that ain't, that ain't a theatre up there. That's definitely not a theatre. Um, John? Yes? I've not been wanting to tell you because you keep not letting me speak, but there is a way to go faster. Really? How's that then? You can unfurl your sails with X and you go faster and it's also pretty. Ooh, I have sails. Okay, but in exchange for me being nice to the chat and also you, showing you something nice, you have to let me speak. Okay, well I'm, I need to I just need to find a place to dock anyway, and then I need to find the theatre in Patry, because we found Patry mm -hmm. now. So this will be a good opportunity, yes. Yes. Uh, Mr. Ghost of Five gave us Speed two dollars and says congrats, John, on finishing the tutorial in this live stream. Damn straight. Uh, Ian gave us five pounds and didn't. Uh, don't think left a message. I'm going to double check. Dog the ship. Uh, no, it didn't. So if you wanted to leave a message, you can add reply me in chat with your message. Um, sorry, Akil gave us a hundred. Uh, I think rupees. Uh, and says, hey John and Claire, I've missed a few streams recently. I hope you guys are safe. What's your opinion on New Vegas, John? Oh, I think it's fine. Yeah? It's all right. Yeah. It's nothing special, but it's all right. Yeah. All right, so now we need to know, we need to find a, a theater. There it is. I see a theater straight down over there. Uh, or what looks like a theater anyway. So we're going to drop that there. And I see exactly a boat. So, I mean, hopefully this town's friendly, right? I mean, this town, towns are generally friendly things. So I'm going to assume while I'm in town, I'm going to be safe for the time being. These people sure like building boats. Well, there's probably a lot. There's a lot of money in it because, okay, uh, in case you're unfamiliar with the Peloponnesian War, the way it was going at this early stage, because we're at 431 BC at this point, which is right at the beginning of the Peloponnesian War, if it's formally been declared at this point, is basically Sparta has superiority on land, Athens has superiority at sea. Mm-hmm. Meaning Athens basically has every incentive to just build massive ass walls and hide behind them. If Sparta comes and ever lays siege to Athens, then Athens just sends its boats down to Sparta and causes trouble straight back down again. So it kind of led to a bit of a stalemate, although Athens did spend a lot of time just sort of sitting around, not necessarily uh, being very proactive. Uh, but yeah, that, that's why the war in its early stages was not particularly hot. Because mm -hmm. neither side really could do much to the other. Athens couldn't push the advantage on land, but yeah. neither could Sparta. Yeah. Now, does this guy sell, like, really... No, okay, so whatever's in the store is, like, level appropriate to you. But, like, going to a new store does mean I can, like, you know, find some fun stuff that might be rare. Uh, next, like, you know, it's just a chance of spawning more rare, unusual bits and pieces. So that's, like, a level 8 thing that's actually pretty damn good. Says so that's actually got the um, the assassin damage on it. So yeah, what I'm using right now is a level seven sword that is plus five percent warrior damage, ninety eight DPS. Whereas this over here, which is a little bit on the expensive side, is bonus to assassin damage. And I like bonus to assassin damage. That's bonus to assassin damage. That's hunt damage. I mean that's that's pretty good. All things considered, I might just buy that to be perfectly honest. Because assassin damage is this is the damage I like boosting. It's my favourite damage to boost. Uh, unless I've got something else going on there. That's a hunt damage thing right over there. That is... That level 6 hat is... It's alright. It gets me a tiny bit of assassin damage. But I feel like I've got better with what I've already got. That's hunter and assassin damage on the wrist guards. And that is marked as... Uh, rare. And it's... Not that expensive to be perfectly honest. So yeah, that's 18, 5 and 2 with hunter... And assassin, respectively. Whereas my ones I'm using right now are 14, 5, 5, and 2. So you know what? I'll keep those. Uh, instead, I'll actually keep them. And you guys... That's 5 and 5. Actually, I've already got a, a 20 with plus 4. So I'll sell you for 21, which is absolutely fine. Uh, and I'll sell... You know what? I'll sell this because I don't, I don't need this. And it looks awful. I don't like it. Uh, so that's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Sell trade goods for 26 right there, including one chicken egg. Very important. Um, as people were saying, I could, like, engrave something if I really wanted to. I don't really want that Morning Star. The Morning Star doesn't particularly excite me. Uh, I can upgrade that for... Oh, that's a lot of resources to upgrade. Yeah, the, the problem with upgrading is the resource cost, which is really high. Uh, do I want to buy that? Do we want to buy the sword, Claire? 
does it look cool? I think it does. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm, then, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna obviously. get that. I'm gonna get that. Uh, so I'll get that. I'm, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be hitting level eight in the not too distant future. So that's all absolutely a okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll go for that. Other than that, I just want to sell. I can sell. <laughs> I can actually sell that wooden mace, which I can't use, which has got one thousand nine hundred DPS. I can sell it for seven hundred. Well, do you need 700? Yeah, I may, as well, I may as well just sell that, quite frankly. So actually, you know what? Going in and stealing that was worth it. That was, because that's just paid for itself, like, so much. That's just paid for itself so damn much. In fact, I might even reinvest that in some new cool stuff. Uh, though, let me see the other stuff here I'm not so keen on. I can... Holy shit, that's a unicorn. <gasps> yes! I can't afford the unicorn. We'll get some money and then come back for I it. I need to steal from more high-level areas to fund unicorns. That's a worthy, worthy goal, that's, John. That's, the, that's a I unicorn right that. there. Holy shit, Claire. That's a unicorn. <laughs> Amazing. A unicorn? Also, I really shouldn't go into the leader as as house and attack. No, I really shouldn't attack those guys. I feel like going into the, le going into the local mayor's house... And beating the hell out of his peep. Treasure chest, though. Can you sneak? How much? How much? Just in theory. How much? Just in theory. How much? Could I steal his snack. stuff? Could you steal some stuff from that side and then while they're investigating, steal some stuff from the other side? Potentially, yes. Okay, what just, I'm going to do... Just drop a save and then do it. Before I go, I'm going to go and get the thing from the theatre wow. before I do that. Look, I've specifically oh, been given... Run into dudes. I've been given a riddle saying, Hey, check out the bow of this ship. So I just need to... I need to get into this ship. Check a bow bow. Yep, Temple of Zeus. Okay, how do I get... How do I get into ship? Because the bow... Wait, which bit of the ship's the bow? Is it the front? Or is it the rear? <sighs> Which bits the Claire? Look at which bits the bow, because we were told to take to, to take a bow. Hmm. Okay. The forward part of the hull. Forward part of hull. Well, there's a trap door. Yeah, but I can't see a way to interact with it. Can I? Can I like reactivate that thing? Did I? Did it disable it? Because I was like. I, because I, like, went, got on my ship, I didn't go by land or something? Or do I need to, like, look up, do I need to reopen that thing? Well, somebody says, check the storefront for free horse skins. I just did, but there was nothing but a unicorn. But for it 8, was 000. not It was free. not free. It was tragically not free at all. You can't get it without the clue, John. You died and left the clue behind? Did I die? I thought I grabbed that on the way out. Ow, sorry. I didn't think I died. I thought I, I died, then I went back and got it a second time. Didn't I get it a second time? It doesn't exist until you read the tablet. But I did read the tablet. I swear I went back and got that. There's a unicorn Pegasus. There's a unicorn Pegasus in the Ubisoft Club rewards. Sweet. Uh, okay. So, we can't fast travel, unfortunately, back to that temple. Okay, when you died, you reloaded two before you picked it up. Oh, I thought I grabbed it on the way out. Thank you, Harmless Toast. Darn. Okay, just double check. I know where all the guards are. Because if I could just know where all the guards are, what we're going to do is we're going to rob the, the, the king of this town, then we're going to run back to the docks. That's the plan. All right, just make sure we know where all the guards are. Because it looks to me like we might be able to get some treasure at the rear. Because there's one treasure over here that is accessible through that door over there. So we can, if we can just sneak over to that, we can get that. We can just drop in and grab it. And then there's also something just sitting right there. Uh, and other than that, there's also something you want me to pay attention to over there. That might be stealing, but whatever. Yeah, that's what we want. We want to grab this one. This is the one we can definitely grab. And that one we can probably grab. And we can't kill that guy. We definitely can't kill that guy. Now, we might be about to declare war on Athens. Admittedly. I'm going to be honest. That's that's true. Uh, all we need to do is, one, climb up top. And no one's going to see that or mind. Okay. And now... 
You're right. We should probably we should probably drop a save about that about this point, shouldn't we? Do you feel like we should? I feel like we should drop a. Yeah, we should drop a save. Can't drop a save. Uh, that's fine. All we need to do is drop into this area, get the get the goods, and then get the flip out. You're not. You're facing away from me right now. Uh, look in your bag, John. You have the clue in your bag, apparently. It's in my bag, is it? Loot treasure. Level 43 reflex bow. That's like 700 gold right there. Sweet. You see, this This is good shit. This is good shit right here. Now we just need to GTFO before anyone sees me. It is nice to be able to walk up go. walls. Yeah, go. Alright, now. Problem. There's another... I, I think we should just leave with what we've got. I think we should say, you know what, that's good enough. Wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, so Michael says, in your inventory, you can click on a small pouch that gives you access to quest items, trade goods, and tablets. From there, you can see that you did indeed pick it up. I thought I did. I thought I went and went back and picked it up. So, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, and shout out to... Uh, Showboat, yes! Shout out to Michael, who uh, is uh, friends with our Sophie. Oh, hello, Michael. Yes. Right, okay, so... Yeah, the theatre in Patri brings the seas to the people, showcasing one of the region's most prized boats. Uh, find me by taking a bow. How do I set this as active, though? Yeah. So that's not active. But I, I, I've got it. I do have it. I literally... I, it's in my bag. But I don't see how I make it active again. There's... That's the problem. Having just stolen 700 gold from the lead. This, this is working. This plan is working. But yeah, I, I do have it. You're all wrong. The people who tried to lie to me, you're wrong. Because all I can do, the only options coming up are back, quick save, toggle headgear, or detailed stats. So you can't, like, do anything with this? Like, you can't I can't see how to it activate it. No. Whatever. I don't see how to, like, get it back on... Get it back on screen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to wait for chat to catch up to tell me how I make this active. Yeah. So I can... Take a... Bow on a stage. Take a bow on a stage. Possibly, like I've. It's. It's. Yeah. It's more. It's more specific than what I'm saying. So yeah, it does say, "Find me taking a bow." So possibly it means yeah, hold holding a bow. Are you in a particular location to like trigger something? Yeah. At the front, get my bow out. That doesn't do anything. You were on the stern, the back, so try the other side or try the stage. Try the back over here. No, I think they were saying that oh, was yo, the back. Oh, yo, interact. I think they ah. that's the front. You got the side of the boat wrong. New that's engraving wrong. unlocked, plus 10% damage. Okay, so we did indeed, it was just, it was over. We were at the wrong side of the boat. That is what was happening. Okay, sweet. All okay, right. so while we do that, shout out to Blob who gave us twenty pounds and says to start the. <laughs> this is for this is to start funding for a Claire plays The Sims Four on the channel. We all want it. I think it would only be fair if John has to read the donations out, but gets interrupted constantly. We have previously established I'm very bad at handling the chat in general. Dear God, this is the thing I'm very bad at. Uh, shout out to Dayton, who gave us $20 and says, uh, Any hints, John, about the anniversary cooking special? I'm a chef, and it's a tradition in my kitchen to watch and judge you. The patisserie I work with <laughs> described watching you work as more painful than the time she got stabbed. Wow, wow. that's hard. I mean, I concur. I never got stabbed. But I concur it's painful watching John. Whatever. Uh, Whatever. Yes. yes, yes, indeed. I think there's some ideas, but I'm not sure we're quite ready to uh, start uh, teething them yet. What would you say, John? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Drop a quick save here. Okay, Actual. let's see if we can get the second bit of gigs. I think this is actually a good chance to get it. Get around over here. Veterans. Don't mind me. More than I can handle alone. Okay, if you just want to stay precisely where you are. Oh, oh. <laughs> It, it, it's fine, 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 bye. Out, go. Hi. Not hostile. Uh, which is fine, so they've okay, lost... So now that they're coming in this direction, can you go and loot somewhere else? Potentially, but... I feel like we should just... I feel like that guy's going to be too hard to... I think, you know what, we just bank what we've got, and that's fine. I think yeah. we just bank what we've got. I'm uh, pretty happy with what we got here. 
Shout out to Sebastian who gave us 50 Danish krona and says, Joan, Claire, I accidentally stirred clockwise when making tea. What do oh, I do? I oh God, God. oh no, I think this will be the end of me if I don't survive. There's, there's nothing you can do, it's too late. Another 800 gold right there. There's good bank to be made from going into high level areas and just doing a bit of thieving. This is this is good stuff right here. So is the... Weren't we doing all of this for the unicorn thing? Is it now free? What's going on? Uh... No, there's now there's a different Phobos skin. It's still 2,500. Okay, but it's not a unicorn. It's so not a care. unicorn. It's not a unicorn. I think this is a different blacksmith, actually. Uh... It's fine. We, 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 one day we will have a unicorn. We do not need it right this second. It's clearly not something you get when you're level 8. It's clearly something that's, you know, better you than that. You it. have to work for unicorns, yes. You can't expect to have unicorns on your first day. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Air Terranian, who gave us £10. And says, John and Claire, you're wonderful humans. Thank you. And then uh, I think he's requiring more uh, shanty singing from you. <laughs> Because it's got the... I don't know the tune of that it's one. It's the same one you were doing. It feels it's like the it reverse of it. It doesn't... It just feels like it doesn't scan the same. Okay, well... Do you want to redo the one you're already doing, then? I... I... I, 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 I I mean, the Roll the Chariot. I mean, I, I, I think I, that's the name of it. I think Roll the Chariot yeah, yeah, yeah. is the name of it. Uh, but I don't. I can't remember how that scans. I'm sorry. I can only remember the one line of it. I can't remember how it scans. <laughs> sorry, folks. I my my knowledge of sea shanties is 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 below what you're anticipating. I'm afraid. Okay. Well, I'm really sorry, Air Terranian, uh, for that. Uh, but uh, shout out to Polylicious, who gave us twenty Swedish krona. And says, I have money. Here, have a small amount of money. Oh, it is, it is still quite enough. Thank you. Yes, very much indeed. Uh, and uh, if you go to Ubisoft Uplay, you can get the free horse. Ah, okay. We Delivery could sort that out between store. episodes, potentially. Yeah. If we um, do some more of this, we might well uh, sort that out. Mm -hmm. I think this is a good opportunity for us to just get in and steal some... Oh, shit, there's a guy there I didn't say. Yeah, uh, and... D -d 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 Boom. Uh, Level 43, rare tracker's cloak. Got. Nice. Shout out to Garrett, who gave us $5 and says, Hey, John and Claire, I love the channel. Quick question, is, so is Star Wars fantasy or science fiction? Neither. It's space opera. Well, space is opera is science fiction. Star Wars is science fantasy. Mm-hmm. Oh, get you with your differentiation of subgenres. I'm sorry. Which one of us is an expert, John? I guess that would be you as your yes. Hugo nominated. Dear I flew, dear, dear yeah, I flew, dear. Yeah, but near the end of it. Dear I flew, dear. Right, we just I got... I just really like a thing that mixes science fiction and fantasy. Like, that's my jam. Mm -hmm. And, um... Oh, you must have you know. really enjoyed Rise of Skywalker then. No, I said I like science fantasy, not bad things. <laughs> like, you know, Doctor Who. That used to be good. Yes, but it's also very much science fantasy because it's like yes. nonsense on toast sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Well, the thing is, you know, the Dragon Ride is a pen, which was a thing that I was like super into when I was a teenager. Like that starts as a solid, solid fantasy and then it kind of goes completely bananas in like book seven or eight or something and they find like, you know, they're excavating an old abandoned continent uh, on the planet and they like find solar panels they don't know what it is they're like excavating and they you know turn those solar panels down and it's like you know a robot or like an ai wakes up and they're like what like a computer an ai computer wakes up and all of a sudden they are like they become aware that like space is a thing and they came to the planet on spaceships and it's bananas story checks out seems <laughs> eminently anyway. reasonable to me if I just wait for that guy to walk over there and wait for you to just walk away, I think I can rob this box as well. Uh, da, 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 what was that? See. I mean, tell you what, that's both the treasures, but yeah, I can't kill the guy, so I can't do anything there. Ooh, uh, Homer Rectus points out that some of the sea shanties in this game are based on actual uh, Homeric inns. Ah, Inns. that would make sense, actually. Uh, no one's able to verify that, though, because no one's ever read the Homeric hymns, because they're so damn boring! 
Mm-hmm. Sorry, even as a class, I found the Homeric Caves dreadfully dull. Yeah, and Antaranian points out that uh, the 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 thing that you couldn't make scan—that's the chorus. So it might actually scan differently. I it might think. scan differently, but I can't remember how the chorus goes. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Uh, I uh, I can't remember how that goes. I'm so sorry, but I I can't remember how it all scans. I can't sing something if I can't remember the tune. So I've now got myself a uh, yes, an epic tracker's cloak. Um. Uh, which would give me 841 armor, as opposed to my existing 25. Uh, but I can't wear it. And it actually only gives me plus 14% warrior damage, which feels underwhelming under the circumstances. But we're just going to sell that for more money. Because basically we've just, we've just rocked up in town and we've robbed it. We've just rocked up in town and we've robbed the joints. Great. This, this, this has turned out beautifully. Uh, yes, indeed, and shout out to Lyle, who gave us eight Australian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, also curious about the baking plans for the next MATN birthday, with like a inquisitive smiley face. I have some ideas, but mm-hmm. none I'm willing to talk about just yet. Uh, Dude Diablo 55 gave us two Canadian dollars. Good dollars. Uh, and says, hi, I'm so excited for the advan- Adventures of Useless Steve DLC. It's it's good. It, I recorded the first part today, it's quite fun. It, it naturally, like, basically, I begin, I lay out this complicated plan, and then about 30 seconds after beginning properly, the plan is out of the window, and we're just sprinting for our lives. It's, it's great. I did love that, you know, I was editing, and then I went to the bathroom, and as I'm, like, getting out of the bathroom, uh, I hear, I've got a plan! <laughs> and I was like, okay, then. That's gonna be a good one. So that's how that's gonna go, is it? We got yes, plans, do we? we? Got plans. There we are got plans. plans. They don't. They don't work out desperately, desperately what well. Can I show uh, you what she's, she's... Anyway, speaking of baking, shout out to Thomas Richter who gave us two Brazilian reais mm-hmm. and says I'm using the quarantine time to bake a lot. Sweet. Good yeah. for you. Uh, me too. Uh, I have been told, if you would believe, I have been told by Joan that there was too much. Too many baked goods. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't wrong. There were a lot of baked goods and we else. couldn't get to all it's of them. It's just you ate like several, you made several of them at once. So as a result, we didn't, we couldn't eat them in time. Yeah, I made several of them at once because, you know, it was my day off. So I baked. Mm-hmm. Like, that makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. Right, we robbed this place. Time to go before they realize what I've done. Yeah. Uh, and shout out to Felipe who gave us uh, $10. And says, hey, John and Claire, busy working from home, so I can't see the stream live. Uh, I would love to hear about your favorite Greek fable when I watch the stream later. Thank you and stay safe. This is not my boat. <laughs> this wasn't my boat. Uh-huh. I need to find my boat. My boat, my, my, my I thought my boat was looking real. I literally was working my boat. I think, wow, my boat looks really sexy. It looks better than I thought. No, this because it wasn't my boat. Ah. Uh, Oh dear. Uh, oh, Greek fables. Um, I've never been too into fables. I, I, I also I don't know which specifically are like the fables, old Greek fables versus like more modern fables. Given fables tend to just be like have been put together into like a single. Oh yeah, my this is my boat. It's much smaller and crappier. Uh, I'm afraid I I don't know which specifically are the. Uh, wait, what? Oh, apparently I've got ship storage. Didn't realise I had ship storage, but I do. That's nice. I could have actually just stored the epic gear over there. But screw it, I'll take the money instead. <laughs> we'll just take the money instead. Everything to is good. Positions. Yeah, uh, and morning. shout out uh, to Athletic Geek, who gave us $5 and said, I'm listening while I'm working. Cheers. Oh, cheers to you too. Indeed. Uh, Thorin gave us $10 and says, Congra- Greetings from Pennsylvania, mate. Um, what do we got to do to get a Project Zomboid playthrough? Zomboid. Oh, there's so many zombie games. I don't know which one Project Zomboid is off the top of my head. Well, I'll take a note of it and we'll look at I'll it need later. To, I'll need to look at it later. Uh, but I have a little Feel bit of wind. burnt out on zombie games. As There's been a lot of them recently. Mm-hmm. There's been so many zombie games. Um, yes, I indeed, a uh, shout out also to Chris, who gave us $20, and oh, says, uh, hello, John and Claire, We've are reached still working speed. on video essays? Uh, update on video essays? Yes, are you still working on them? Yes, in fact, I was making some notes for, like, a smaller one just the other, just the other day. It's just that they, they, 
They take so much work to construct and put together in the way that makes sense that I'm happy with and for all of that. It's it's very tricky. It's it's very tricky. So they're, they're very slow, big work and it takes a lot of work in every week just to produce the day-to-day -day videos. We've got a lot of videos. Uh, and they're very long and they're very edited. So it hey, takes... Speaking of the videos being long... Yes. Uh, just we can. Heads up that we are coming up to like three and a half hours of streaming or something like that and we want to stop it first oh, right. the the That's the true. As thank you to Jinx for making that excellent point. I tell you what, we'll probably make we'll probably make for that small island over there, yeah. do a little bit of exploration and then uh, save before we get to mm -hmm. Megara and we can roll into Megara and begin our little exploration of that area when we actually, uh, oh. or rather if, this gets yeah, voted for again. Like yes, indeed. Shout out to Flavaha, who gave us $5. And says, if you just pull soldiers from the road, you'll be able to kill them, and then we can the leader to knock her out and recruit them to We do what, sorry? Full if you power. pull the, the soldiers from the road, you'll be able to kill them, and then we can the leader to knock her out and recruit uh, them to your crew. Ah, interesting. Mm. I will say, it doesn't seem like I'm going much faster with the wind. Than I was it doing is with my. Pretty though. It is relatively pretty. I guess I'm only going a bit faster. Mm. Uh, uh, has changed the face of the big sorry, shout out to uh, Star Wars Josh. Star Wars is Josh Smith, who gave us five dollars and said, "Any plans to uh, cover yeah. destroy or human remake uh, when it releases that this year, John?" Also, hi Claire, gift have you pack for me? I didn't know that I was actually having a, a remake uh, anytime recently. I I I know that it, I thought it had already had a HD re-release, but. Uh, maybe the HD re-release is different from the remake, uh, so that is something I was not aware of. I will put it on the little list that we've got going on. Okay, this, weirdly that boat over there is being marked oh as a God. quest. Uh, shout out to Charles who gave us two uh, pounds and says, I loved your Wasteland 3 video, it got me into Wasteland 2. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Well, it makes sense if unless you well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you can still work back the game on like I don't know Kickstarter or something in yeah. order to actually get access to the beta, which is what I had access to. Mm. Uh, I don't know whether that's still a thing or not, but let's make a note of all of this. this <laughs> the best sea shanty is clearly Baby Shark. <laughs> do do do. That I know the tune of Baby Shark. Do 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 do. <laughs> Baby Shark. Do 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 do. Did I get it wrong? I probably yeah, just got it. get it wrong. I got it close. -ish. Uh, here's a sea shanty you'll know the tune of. Uh, Captain Wowzers gave us five pounds and says, John, you should sing the best sea shanty, Sailor Boy. <laughs> he was a sailor boy. She says something, something, my keel. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I need to have a think about how to how to properly see shanty eyes skater boy. That's very good, yes. He was indeed a skater sailor boy, she said see you later, boy. Excellent. Hello. I d I don't see any enemies around here. So we're just gonna chill out. We're just gonna go say hello to these guys. Say hello to these guys. Uh, and uh, while you do that. Shout out to Joven or Joven, I'm not sure, who uh, gave us five dollars and says opinions on Netflix's Shira. It seems in a realm of science fantasy. Also, quarantine has made keeping up on work quite hard. It's really good. I love it. It's so good. We've got the final series coming up soon, don't we? Yes, yes, yes. And it's really exciting that they got to like, you know, even though it's been quite successful, they are able to say like, no, this is going to be the final season. We've like prepared an ending to it. It's not, you know, mm. that it's more about the story than uh, the original uh, Shira, <laughs> which is not hard, to be honest. Hello, would you like to come join my crew buddy chance? Oh, thank the gods you came. What happened? Where's the rest of your crew? Pirate! They killed most of us, but they took my brother. Please, you must help him. Yeah, but where? I'll help find your brother, Sailor. I'm not a sailor, I'm a carpenter. So is my brother. Our father taught us. Interesting. Our ship could use a carpenter. Yeah. I've worked as a shipwright. Repaired hulls with holes the size of Poseidon's fist. Please, save my brother. And I'll join your crew. Then it's a deal. Alright, where are the pirates, though? Where can we find these pirates? 
there is an island uh, west of Viotia and south of Mount Helicon. I hear the sail from there. Now, Boosh is quite a long way away from where we are, I think. Anything else that might help? I don't know. It happened so fast. Because of the war, there's more pirates about than ticks on a sow these days. But their camp can't be far. We'll find these pirates and rescue your brother. Alright, we got ourselves someone here. Pirate's life. Uh, so, okay. Set that as... Uh, active. Yep, yeah, Pirate's Life is suitable for level 7. That's absolutely fine. Go to the quest here. And, ah! Okay, it is literally just down the uh, just down the the corner, as it turns out. But, yeah, screw you. I'm going to go loot this temple first, which might theoretically have some bad people in it. This is the Forgotten Isle. And would appear to have itself... Yes, Cave of the Forgotten Isle. Oh. Alright, get the thing out here. This is blatantly about to... <laughs> Alright, we'll have to come back up there in a second. This is... Ooh! There's an eye. Okay. Well, this is all very interesting and cool looking. Toss the thing over there. Okay, this is cool. Eye banners. Someone else has been here. Alright, well, I'm going to struggle to do much other than, yeah, just dive over here. And I see there's a little underwater tunnel over there. But before we do that, I think uh, the chest might be right here. Yep. Yeah. That's a weird-ass looking chest. Okay. Obsidian glass and precious gems. Alright. And, oh, I think I might have missed scanning a chest, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? Uh, I don't see anywhere else that's logically going to be anything. Alright, let's just swim under here in that case, because yeah, I see there's an underwater thing over in this direction. Clap! Uh, yeah, shout out to the book 778 who gave us five pounds and says, You are amazing. Oh, thank you. You're amazing too. Uh, shout out to Diclonius Lucy who world. gave us five euros and says, Hey John, what about playing The Division 2 in light of recent events? I saw you did two videos of the first game's beta, but nothing after that. What? What's happening? I'm gonna be. I I thought the division was was reasonable but unspectacular. What in Hades was that? There's Doesn't also. Doesn't look like I'll find out through this door just yet. Maybe another time. I feel like I've come across something earlier than the game wants me to come across it. But on the plus side, at least I might get some stuff. I, mean, I think they mean because it's a plague. Yes. Uh, I mean, yes, but some of the, the original Division was plaguey too. Uh, I, I, I just wasn't overwhelmed by the Division. It was just, it just struck me as very forgettable. I, I can't see myself really going back for much of any reason, to be honest. It was fine, but I, it just, it just doesn't excite me. It does not excite me at all as a concept, I'm afraid. It's just, it's... You know, I don't feel like I would really do it justice as someone who's not particularly excited by it. Fair enough. Uh, shout out also to Jennifer who gave us $5 and says, Number one, useless Steve needs to acquire the Rat Slayer. Number two, M18 anniversary video needs to be all the recipes from the Fallout 3 cookbook. <laughs> or needs to all be recipes from the cookbook. Uh, and number three, speak up, Claire. I'm sorry. Mm hmm. Oh, I do idea. occasionally gesture at Claire to try and make her speak up, I promise. Well, but I don't know. I don't have the music or anything. I don't know how loud the thing is. I get the impression that I'm shouting all the time. And it's just the setup we have is not designed for streaming, it's designed for, like, John to be able to work, and then I've got a folding table, and yeah. I'm like squished in as close as I can be without actually like damaging things when I move and John like whacking my laptop with his hands <laughs> which you know happens sometimes like I drop my mouse on stuff yeah <laughs> so you know it's just a little tricky because we just need to you know at some point uh, at some point if we ever end up moving and having a bit more dedicated workspace we need to like have something yes that can <laughs> Yeah, we need to have something a bit built up better for it. Now, that chest I wanted in the first place. Heavy Corinthian helmet. Good. 
So we got that. We have now looted this tomb and discovered some form of... Well, irritating now. I think we've discovered some form of weird, otherworldly, bloody alien gods that built the pyramids out of place nonsense that Assassin's Creed just can't seem to rid itself of, damn it. Dear oh flippin' dear. Uh, okay, well, somebody said I didn't hear you, and I'm not sure if they're kidding or not, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> dear oh dear. Uh, shout out also to Jeans and Cowboy Boots, who gave us five pounds. And says, when you put up the options for the live stream, have you ever been disappointed in the way the vote has gone? P.S. All hail Queen Tabby. Well, right to hell Retribution wants one, so yes. <laughs> God, that was so bad. I mean, oh, I no. sometimes get disappointed because I, you know, I I like kind of like smaller, chiller games. Yeah, I never I never put anything up that I'd be really disappointed by. Uh, so like, no, not really, because you know, if it if it's available as an option, I'd be fine. I'd be happy with it already. So that's absent. So that's all absolutely fine with me. Uh, that's all fine with me already. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, and he's a carpenter. Pirates took his brother. Shout out to somebody else us who us gave us twenty pounds then and says, "Hi guys, pirates. love you all. Put Sorry if this has been man. asked before, but have oh, you ever like read Stephen Fry's Mythos and Heroes?" I think they are ex excellent retelling of the Greek Forward! myth, I mean, was humorous and faithful. Uh, I have not. Uh, I need to get. Go! I need to do it at some point or another. Uh, I'm not sure I've much read much of Stephen Fry's writing. Uh, to be honest, uh, so I do not know. I, I I'm sure I will get to it at some point or another. But I've heard good things. I've had some. Fun. I've had some. It's quite fun. So let's rescue this guy from this tiny nice. island and we'll wrap up with that with an awesome rescue adventure. That sounds good, I'd say. Yeah, and uh, we've got somebody in chat offering to like build us a custom double desk that fits the dimension of the available space. It's so kind of you. Thank you so much for offering. There's just not that much available oh, space. No, yeah. we're, we're, in a, we're in a small apartment. There's really not. There's not. We're would not work. Yeah, because when we moved here, John was. When we moved here, we were both working in central London, like, yeah. out of the house. And we kind of thought we'd like to be able. John wanted to be able to leave his job and work from home. Yes. But he hadn't done it yet. Um, and then he did it, and then for a couple of years it was just you, and then I started working from home, so it was never planned as a place where we'd both work from home. Yes. Um, so, you know, we're very lucky that we're able to do it, and that we're so well prepared for the apocalypse. Yes, precisely. <laughs> okay, treasure, treasure, lots of treasure. Possibly some of it underground, it's kind of unclear. Fair few people, but mostly level sevens. So we should be able to just get over there. It, it, somehow they don't see the boat and think, hey, maybe we should be careful because there's a massive ass boat that just stopped right next to us. <laughs> yeah. Jinx points out uh, Resident Evil 7 with the wasp nest lady bits. Oh, yeah. That was, uh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, oh, sorry. And shout out to Desperate Perrin, the wise of Serbia, who gave us $2 in test trans rights. Damn straight. I've Perrin, Perrin was a good egg, so I'm sure the he wise, would agree. The wise for a reason. In any case, trans rights. Damn straight. Get round over you. And that's one leader dead. One just sneak in. One hit, one kill. Because I do specialise very heavily in the assassination. So that's you taken care of, my good lad. And now we're just going to shove you in the sea. So nobody realises anything is wrong. I say his body's just floating there. But I'm sure it's it's all a okay. Uh, okay. Now the question is, who's the next logical target? Because I think I saw a couple round the back that might make good targets next. So this is a restricted area. This is officially in Boeisha. All right. So sneak around the outside. There's a shipwreck. I'm just discovering locations like crazy here. And yeah, actually there was. Hang on, was that? No, there's no there's no oil thing I can detonate, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm seeing people. I see to find the right spot to pick some of them off. Yeah, I see. That's two sharks. We don't oh need to prioritise them. Oh. Yes. Uh, someone points out that uh, they know it's British slang. It's British slang, but it is funny that your response to trans right includes the word straight. 
<laughs> oh Sorry. dear. Oh dear. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> With Claire's accent, it does sound like trains, right? I'm sorry. I'm um, for also, that too. I also support trains. <laughs> trains and trans people both very important to me. Yeah. Yeah, just one. Tr there's literally just the one treasure. We do need to rescue this guy. So everybody needs to die, therefore. So you need to find and save the carpenter's brother. And these guys are refusing to... They're just refusing to separate out. Okay, we might need oh, to do gosh. a little bit more... We might need to be a bit more proactive in this on that occasion. I swear two of them were like round the back at one point when I saw them. But now they're being dicks about it. Uh, so okay. I might be able to... Can I get one of them over here? Not the dog though. I need the dog. I need it to be not the dog ideally. Okay, loop around over here. Getting one of them into doing a whist assassination in one of these bushes might do the job. Okay, there's like yeah. If the dog wants to go, they're all so close together. It's really difficult because they're all so close together. Just need to figure out how much health they've got. If a headshot does that, it's quite a lot. It's going to need to be an assassination. We wouldn't be able to take him down with one of those big bow shots. That just wouldn't work. Uh, actually, then again, a double bow shot from the high ground probably would. Because that's 150% damage. Uh, I wonder how well this would work. If I could take out... You know what? I'm going to try and take out you. Does the dog know? Okay, and now go, 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 go. Okay. Uh. Okay, so we're just gonna take out we're gonna take out you and the dog right now, and then we're gonna back off. Okay, the big heavy lads over there. Let's just go for you and avoid that, and then hit you in the back, and then avoid. Okay, now just go. That does a little bit of damage right over there, and. Can we kick him down? Yeah, we can kick him down, which is oh dear. avoid because they're going for a big shot. Okay, and come in for a big shot, mate. Come in for a big shot. And oh my God. that's a big People ass hit right there. More ways than they misheard me saying trans right? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, we got the flipping thing in right there. A bit of poison on me. That's fine. You're a. Uh, you know, now you're a bow lad. Now we're actually up to you. You'll be absolutely yeah, okay. I've got a nice poison arrow right through me. Anybody else want to go? I swear I saw one of them running off. Yeah, I thought I saw one of the others running off in that direction. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, hi. Hi there. Uh, would you like to maybe come and fight? Like a... Excuse, excuse me. Can't you... Come... Why does guys roll well good at running away? Come, come back here. Come. Oi. Come. Come the flip back. Why? Maybe you're just real bad at running after people. I can't lock onto him. Yes. There we go. Now I'm officially in combat. Amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Benny Hill music going in the background there. Also, I think I accidentally cut the door off that guy's uh, tent because I'm just that badass. Sweet uh, shit. Shout out to Kaylee who gave us two dollars and says trains rights. <laughs> and to your long shadows who gave us fifty Norwegian krona and says people should be able to choo choose how they live their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Message of the day right there. Hello, I saved you. Uh choo choose how they live their lives at trains for trans rights. <laughs> Let's see if I accentuate it, it feels like I'm saying like trans like you're high or something. Anyway. Trons. I don't know. Uh, la, 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 la. For some reason, I'm supposed to be carrying him up there. Don't know 100% why. Possibly his brother's come ashore and that's where his... Oh, shit. Did I just kill his brother? Oh, shit. Was that his brother? Oh, was that the person you were meant to save, John? Uh-oh. sent me. That fool. Always sending someone else to do his dirty work. How bad is it? And you, 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 you'll pull through. Oh. You're not going to make it apparent. That would be a lie. I'm going to lie to him regardless. No. Lie. You're, be fine. You're kind. A terrible liar, but kind. What message should I give your brother? Tell that fool of a brother I... I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, we're going to... Can we just 
take him could we take him back? Was that my fault? Could he have survived if I'd done that better? Oh, we're bringing him, bringing him back anyway. I'm bringing him home, possibly. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay, he's just going in the ocean. Wow. I can't carry him. Viking burial, I guess. Well, the sharks will eat him. It'll be fine. Okay. Everyone want look. That's a badass way to be buried. Would you rather be buried or cremated or eaten by shark? I, mean, I'd I rest you my case. I'd rather you didn't murder me by accident. Mm -hmm. Hello. So you I failed. Where is he? He's so dead. He survived. If I lie and say he survived, what's my follow up to that? He just decided he didn't like you anymore? There's an owl on the next boat. That's because it's an Athenian boat. Yeah, but it's cute. It's the symbol of Athena and Athens. It's a symbol of imperial power. That is literally a symbol of imperialism at this point in history. You see that, you see ships. You, you see the thing with, if you look with at the modern imperialism is they have a branding problem. If they had a cute owl on it, it would be awful. If fun. you wake up, look over the bay, and you see a bunch of ships with owls coming at you, you are fucked. You yeah, are fair. mega fucked. Look, I'm, I'm not going to lie and say he survived, because what the hell is my follow-up for that? He just says he doesn't like you anymore. He's become a pirate. He didn't survive. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I curse you, You could gods. just curse Cassandra I instead of the gods. gods. That ship. Only pirates. I begged him to come on this trip. He hated the sea. It's wet the and it gets everywhere. And helps me forget the pain. Well, put a hammer in yours if you honor your word. <laughs> of course. There is nothing left for me here. All right, so now I've got myself a Tecton. But yeah, I can only have one commander until I upgrade the ship. So as a result of that, I've now got to choose whether I want arrow damage plus three or ship armor plus three uh, percent. So I'll probably go for that, to be honest. I actually have Tecton as my lieutenant. But if I were to, yeah, gather a huge amount of wood, then I could upgrade uh, the the hull. And then I assume I could have, yeah, I could have a second lieutenant. They could have both of them at the same time. So that's, that's pretty good. And also I can have, I could buy entire new crews if I wanted to. And ship designs and all sorts of nonsense. Excellent. Though, yes, ramming's definitely the way to go because ramming we is... We have ten minutes. And we're, that is it. We're going to we're wrap it up. Yeah, we have right. ten minutes and two more messages to read. Excellent. And I think hope I'm very lucky. How much XP was that? Enough to push me into level eight? Yes, just into level eight. So we literally get a level up to wrap up with, which is really cool. Very, very cool indeed. A uh, shout out to Sander, who gave us five euros... And says, hi, John. I've been watching since Fallout 3 Kill Everything. How would a refu how would a refugee crisis play out in classical Greece in relation to now? Uh, uh we had refugees. Well, people didn't generally write about it because it wasn't deemed of huge significance, unfortunately. At the time, it wasn't deemed important. Obviously, there were refugee crises in the ancient world, but they weren't so severe because the population was so much smaller. Uh, but for the most part, they were dealt with by just letting a large number of people die. Yeah, uh, not great. No, not great. And there's that visual customization uh, system that people said. So now I can just change how things look if I want things to just look different. More importantly, got myself a new sword, which is very good. So I got myself a new sword there. Uh, I'm still happy with my existing bow. I picked up a... Yeah, I've got that level 7 stuff there. So I can go for a much more defensive helmet, but honestly, it's not that good. I do have a new level 7 Brawler's Gauntlet. That's just Hunt Damage. Uh, your Assassin Damage, 8. So yeah, your Assassin Damage, 14. Crit Damage, Hunt Damage. You know what? I'll go over to you. It's time to, to move over. That's Hunt Damage, but no Assassin Damage. I like, I like just basically piling on the Assassin Damage. Got myself a new skirt, a traveler's belt, rare waist, so that's warrior damage, and one second burning duration. Yeah, and uh, shout out also to Peron, uh, Despot Peron, the wise of Serbia, who gave us another $5, and uh, wants to know, are you planning on playing more of the game that taught me all I know about strategy and tactics, Rome Total War? Uh, not imminently. The next Total War game will almost certainly be the new Iliad Total War business. Also, look at this, I'm not got a line on my shoulder. That's, That's very cool. I'm down for that. That's it. We're ready. We're ready to move on mm -hmm. from this arm. And now we've got. Now we've got flipping lions eating my shoulder, going yum 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 on my shoulder. That's 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 pretty good. 
I'm now happy with life. Now that's a thing as exists. Yeah. Ooh, and one more for you, a bit more time and one more for you if you need to, any last no, minutes. No, I'm good. I'm done. Excellent. We are at seven minutes. Oh, it's seven minutes to go. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, then I need to pick where I want my abilities to go. Really, really damn fast. Uh, devastating shot. We've already taken the the kick. I can't upgrade the kick anymore. Actually, you know what? Charged heavy attack sounds hilarious. So let's get that in as well. So yeah, big, big charged heavy attack for the right moment when I want to just belt someone off something. That seems like that's a good sort yeah. of thing. So that gets me, uh, yeah, a beautiful amount of that. Inventory's up to date. Level 8. Got no abilities. Uh, the quest system. We might want to grab a couple of extra chests from down south. But we seem to be uh, where we want to be. So we're going to wrap things up there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is where we are. So I think we've made a good start here. We've got our boat. We've headed out into the world. We've gone up against bandits of level of level 42. Everyone said, John, you can't possibly beat them. And we bamboozled them. We robbed them. We freed a hostage that they had. We just... Oh, amazing. It's a beautiful game, too. I've had a lovely time with this. I could definitely see myself doing a bit more of this. So, uh... Keep your eyes open, ladies and gentlemen. This will be showing up as an option again. Most likely next Wednesday, because that's kind of where I put, like, recurring series stuff. So, that is uh, likely one we'll have. Not next Wednesday. We're not doing a live stream next Wednesday. We can't. We've got commitments. Wednesday after. <laughs> Claire gave me with a look. Uh, the look. The look. Ah, uh, the tapping of the feet. Okay. <laughs> Please carry on. I'm just keeping an eye on the clock for you. But yes, thank you very, very much. Go along. We have to wrap up in the next few minutes so we don't like cut off the beginning for, because you know we're gonna leave this up so we don't uh, we don't have time to pro uh, time to um process because if it goes over four hours it goes a bit funny. Because uh, yes, this is your video uh, for tonight, and we've got some. Oh, I've got something super chill tomorrow. Tomorrow, super chill thing. Then Crusader Kings Two. I don't two. know if they'll find it chill. We've got. In fact, actually, we've got chill games coming up the rest of this week. We've got chill game on Thursday, chill game on Saturday. We've got Crusader Kings. We got brand new Fallout New Vegas, ridiculous, stupid challenge run. We got exciting, sick stuff coming up. Thank you very, very much for coming along. The super chat nights. We had some big donations tonight. Thank you so very, very much. And. Thank you to those of you who are in the healthcare profession. Some of yes, cuz you guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. So thank you all so very, very much for all the work uh you do. Uh if you're on Patreon, the Patreon cast just went out a few days ago just in case you missed that. It's a brand new Patreon cast, two and a half hours of me babbling about who only knows what uh is available to all of the Patreon. And if you're a channel member on YouTube, that's available to you too. Check the community tab. There is a special thing that only channel members can see that give you uh that give you access to the Patreon cast as well. So yeah, I've got some super chill stuff I think we could all use. Uh, for a bit for the rest of this week and I've got a secret coming up over the next week or two I've got a secret. I know a big secret about the game industry right now I know a really big secret about something All right, and I can show it to you sooner rather than later So keep your eye out because I have one a hell of a secret I can't tell you my life's not worth telling you what I know, but it's big news All, All right, right. Watch this space. Just before we wrap up, shout out to Lucy who gave us five euros and says I just woke up 20 minutes ago and missed most of the stream. Tried to change my sleep schedule again. Too bad I work at night. Apollonius gave us two dollars and says Athens is now sponsored by the Who. <laughs> and we have literally got minutes. That go, 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 go. Good night, everybody. Thank you very, very much for coming along. Uh, we'll see you on Saturday. Well, there will, of course, be a vote going out on Friday for that. So, bunch of really chill videos. Hopefully, see you in the live stream on Saturday. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. This has been many a true night. This has been the, the ultimate countdown. We've got minutes to spare here before we hit four hours. But this has been a Saturday screen, honestly. It's been, it's been great. We'll be seeing this again. Thank you very much, and good night. Good night. Thank you very, very much for coming along. Uh, we'll see you. Just accidentally did the thing.